everybody. Welcome to season 20 of Spine Chill. I'm one of your co-hosts, John Wolf, here with uh, one of my other co-hosts who could barely contain himself, Gary the Hot Cross. Hello. <laughs> and our 21-time recurring guest, Doug Running Man. I couldn't help myself, dude. It's like the way John was like, hello. <laughs> like, look directly into the camera, like, game time. I don't know, that's perfect. All right, hi. It's game time. Thank you, for, thank you for having me back again. I'm very excited to do another one of these banger tier lists, and this is going to be a really fun one. I'm stoked about it. It's always a joy to have you, Doug. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, the thing is with yeah. my schedule, too, you know how busy I am. Like, I got, you know, I've been playing a lot of Ghostbusters lately. You know, I know. I, I, Really? Went McDonald's. I went to McDonald's yesterday. So, like, for me, having this packed schedule, you know, it, it really says a lot that you guys invite me back, but it also says a lot that I'm willing to move things around to be here. Every week. We appreciate so, you for it. Thank you. We do like, appreciate I, you, but uh, <laughs> the one week that you forget to thank us for having you, uh, you're off the next week. So, yes, fair. Yeah, keep, um, have a fair. Just I make sure you keep doing that. Uh, but yeah, we have got a very exciting season for you all today. Uh, as usual, this is episode 20, and if it's a multiple of five, that means we do something special. This time, it's another tier list. Uh, the topic of worst or best chapter in DBD history has been a hot topic lately with the new Tools of Torment chapter. And so we thought we would go through and rank all of the DBD chapter releases from S tier to D tier. Can I ask a question real quick? Because I mean, you guys have your like secret meetings as actual hosts, and I have you as mm -hmm. tell me yes, yeah, yeah, of course. Plot. So, right, have right. you guys already decided? Are we going to rank Tools of Torment, even though it's not technically out? Oh, yet? Is that yes, happen? we have. We should discuss it. I know it's not out yet. We should but discuss we should. it. Yeah. I mean, I do. I feel comfortable ranking it based on what yeah. we saw in the PTP. because they've already they've already they've already announced what the changes are going to be. Like we know what the chapters yes, going to look yeah. like when it launches. So, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Yeah. So we will be. That'd doing be a nice little surprise at the end for us to theorize. I, yeah. yeah, I mean, it'll be it'll be acknowledged that the chapter isn't out yet, and that it's upcoming, and that this is our first impression, you know, yeah, and that yeah. it could change in the future. So, yes, yeah, I yeah, think it's yeah. totally yeah. fair. I agree. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning into another episode of Spine Chill, the number one asymmetrical horror and Dead by Daylight podcast. We appreciate your 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 viewership and the people who listen, especially in Romania. Um, thank you for joining us for another week. We're going to start off with One Last Breath, the chapter that gave us The Nurse. The and first. The first new killer. Nice change from just having Billy, Wraith, and Trapper. That's Is right. Is it called One Last Breath or The Last Breath? It's called The Last Breath, yeah. Oh, it's The Last Breath. I thought it was One Last yeah. Breath. Yeah. No, one it's Last, the last breath. breath, yeah. I was about to say, that sounds like a Mariah Carey song to me. <laughs> <laughs> One last breath. Like it's like yeah. yeah the last I don't, breath. Sorry. I, I, no, it's fine. You know, to apologize. Just, I was like, I, I was sitting here because I don't know if I've mentioned this before, and it'll probably come up once or twice today. But I have been playing the game since launch, like since 2016. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what, really? really? So you were yeah, there when this came out? Yeah, OG day one. I was there. Oh, wow. So, How many hours do you have in this game? Again, I don't know why. I, I feel like it's just honestly that's a private question, and I don't feel oh, comfortable I... sharing. All right. Well, Every week so I try and trick you out of it, but one day we'll okay, do it. Okay, okay, fine. It's that's eleven thousand nine hundred and thirteen hours. Okay. Sorry. No, no way. No, no. Yeah, wow. What's the big? What's the big twelve triple zero? I don't know. I've only streamed eight times this month, so we'll see if I fucking ever get there. <laughs> <laughs> I may never play my game again. I don't know. This, right? We'll see. It. Yeah. Right. You're gonna get it first, dude. You guys will catch me. When am I gonna get P100? Never. Um, no, but like my whole thing is like I couldn't remember the name of the chapter, even though I was like there for it. And one last breath. I know it's only one different word, like one last breath and the last breath, but like for some reason. I think both sound good. I think one last breath hmm. sounds a lot different than I think as we go breath. through the chapters, I was I was just saying before, like I love all the names. Same. But like the licensed yeah, ones are kind of true. boring because they have to be licensed, but like their original ones, I love all the names. Aren't the yeah. licensed names always just the character's name? Like or is that I mean, maybe not because uh, well, no. like, like, like Resident Evil is just Resident Evil and then right. the second one got a bit more added to it um, with Project yeah. W but We've generally got... like you know it's just Ghostface chapter well because I remember that chapter well, on like on social media that was why people were because people were speculating that the new chapter was going to be licensed when they saw the trailer mm. and they're speculating maybe Terminator or something like that <laughs> and a lot of a lot of people were arguing that, well, if it was, it wouldn't have the name Tools of Torment if it was a licensed chapter yeah. because, you know, mm -hmm. it would just have the name of the, I don't know. That's very true, yeah. But. It's, it's, I think it's mostly true. Yeah. Cause like, uh, like Bill is a licensed chapter, but the, 
it's called Left Behind, so they yeah. don't always do that. But they yeah, have lately, so lately it seems like. He's probably, yeah. he's probably the only example. I mean, Sadako Rising it's got a bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's not Ringu. A bit more it's a the word, different. I feel like the word Ringu is never used in that license. Mm-mm-mm. No, it is. And that's the name of yeah. that's the name of the of the film and the and the license, man. Which, by the way, yeah. can I just? I know that I'm. Eh, I don't care. I'm just gonna ask. Have you guys seen? Are you talking about DVD leaks again? No, <laughs> not, no. I will eventually. I'm sure I'll bring them up. And if not, I get. If we get to Tools of Torment, I haven't shit on DVD leaks yet. I will definitely just throw. <laughs> that's how we'll, them That's how no we'll reason. finish the okay. season if yeah. you haven't had a chance. Okay. So like, and Doug DVD leaks. Yeah, I'll throw. Any I'll throw a jab at the end, but. <laughs> I was just saying, have you guys seen Ringu? Like when when they announced it, I watched I the film and I actually thought it was great. I thought it was a great. I, have, film. I haven't seen it. I've heard nothing but good things though. It's been on my list oh. for a long time to watch. I'll I'll I'll, I'll tie you down and make you watch it. I'd I'd watch yeah. it again, ha- hands down. So if you're down, it, I'm down. Doug, are you so suggesting good. a date night for us? I'm asking you out on stream, <laughs> on recording. No. Then I would then I would love to accept. Yeah, we should watch Ringu. It's very good, and that got me. I had never seen it. I had seen the the U.S. version of the Ring, like everybody mm. in the world. That sucks, isn't it? That's, that's that's me. Terrible. I did not like it's, that film. I think it sucks because I love everything, but like I definitely saw the flaws, and will not. Ne- I would not argue for it being a good film, but like I also didn't hate it. But I definitely wasn't excited about a, a Ring chapter until I watched Ringu, and then I was like, mm. yeah, 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 this is good. I'm excited about this. So. Sorry, I know that that was a weird jaunt down a random no, it make, trail, makes me it, it makes me even more excited to talk about that chapter same i'm excited and place it on our yeah. awesome tier list yeah I mean, in about an hour 45 we'll get there <laughs> yeah because i won't <laughs> shut the fuck up right okay so <laughs> take it away john so the last breath this gave us the nurse as the killer as well as new maps from crow's pen asylum i th- actually i think it was just it was just disturbed ward um at the yes, time yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the survivor was who was the survivor for this one? I'm blanking at the moment. Oh, me too. Actually, Nia. Was it Nia? Was it? Was it Nia? I think it was okay. Nia. Nia was I our co- first I survivor. Remember. Yeah, because I, I I couldn't remember if Nia was like if they add her to the base game, and then Nurse came out or or what or how that order was. But uh, yeah, Nurse was the first um, DLC killer that came out because before that it was just Trapper, uh, Hillbilly, and Wraith as part of the base game. So this mm. was the first release, which was kind of cool, kind of exciting at the time. Now, I, I was playing Dead by Daylight during this time, but I wasn't playing public matches. So I only got to experience the nurse in the new map in a private match with my friends, and we made like a video out of it or two. Um, but uh, Doug was there when it came out. So what was this like on launch? Boots on ground. I want you guys to know that the nurse with add-ons could have up to seven blanks on launch day. Yes, um, because like that was the big fanfare. So, the nurse changes. It's like she's back. And yeah, seven blank is back. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. So right. basically, the nurse was an answer to looping, which had recently, am I recently, like it had been discovered. Basically, like the nurse was like behaviors. Very first band aid fix, I think, where they yeah, were she, like, she okay. was a solution to a emerging yeah. playstyle because looping was being discovered, infinites were being discovered, um, killer was insanely hard if people knew where the infinites were. I have a hilarious memory of when I was like an early st- when I first started streaming, like 2016, I was streaming for like the first time, and I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't streaming DVD, I was streaming Heroes of the Storm, but like I would occasionally stream DVD. And I streamed on, like, Halloween day. I streamed, like, ooh, it's my Halloween DVD stream, Poggers. And I was all, you know, stoked about it. And I remember getting looped by a Claudette at an Infinite as Myers. And, like, no joke, I got so mad I turned my PC off while I was live streaming. I literally shut my PC up, got up, and walked away. Because it was an Infinite. There was no no way to catch her, no matter what. I was never going to catch her there. And it's like... So that was the thing. That was the thing that was in the game, you know, from the beginning. Infinites happened. And so the nurse was, like, the answer to the infinites. Like, because Trapper, you could trap the infinite, but then, like, their teammates could come and, and undo the trap right. while you were moving. Like, there was and, always... and back then, when you broke a trap, it was broken for good, right? Yeah. 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 When you when you saboed a trap, it was broken. Yeah. Oh, could, yeah. Sorry. Could, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could disarm traps. But, but the point is that, like, there was other killers. Like, Trapper was kind of, like, the go-to before the nurse was, like, the go-to anti infinite killer because yeah. at least you could do yeah. something you could trap the infinite um but even that was like counterable and so i think the nurse was like their first like i said their first band-aid fix like okay well looping is 
out of control and we don't have the resources to redo all the maps and fix all the infinites now so let's just put a killer in that ignores looping and mm -hmm. and the game was always good since that point and the game yeah, fixed it was every problem in the game <laughs> it fixed everything um <laughs> Yeah, because Nurse has been a... Well, so she's, has she always been the strongest killer, I'm guessing? Yeah, since her inception, yeah. she has to be, right? Cause, yeah, I mean, yeah, so, yeah. The only thing survivors can do to survive, she directly countered. So, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't play DVD at that time. I think I, I think I played it a bit with you, John, in private matches, but I'd not, I think that right. was before the Nurse came out. Um, was she fun? Like, to play against when she first came out? Like, well, when, the, when the game was far less balanced, obviously? Yeah, the evolution of DVD being what it is, you know, there weren't... Super Alf wasn't playing Nurse in 2016, right? Like, it wasn't... Mm, right. People that have been playing Nurse since 2016 exist now and are insane. But, like... And, again, I think we've talked about on the podcast, we've even argued against that mentality of, like, well, the Nurse is overpowered, but you have to have really good skill to be good with the Nurse. Like, the, the whole skill cap to being good at nurse mm. we've 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 like right i think spine chills kind of debunked that theory right we don't feel that way no it's really anymore. easy nurse is a fairly simple killer <laughs> pretty pretty easy to get above average at nurse yeah if you just play her right mm -hmm. well back then that i think that really was a thing like she was she was difficult to play as because there and there was a high skill cap and there was not the again i talk a lot about how like survivors have gotten so much better in dvd like so the survivor your average survivor player now would have been like the best survivor you faced in 2016 2017 mm. like the yeah. evolution of the game being what it is more people are playing more youtube videos more twitch streams more more reps at the gym right and they're gonna get stronger better gaming like, chairs better headsets but right. yeah so but like back then i think everybody just sucked so like we didn't really know you know so nurse yeah was, and nurse like the the reason why it took them so long to nerf nurse substantially which literally just happened like within the last few months right was because the data constantly showed the nurse having like one of the highest escape rates in dvd like she was the worst on paper statistically the worst killer mm. in dvd for years and years and years so i mean right know, i'll argue i don't think she's been nerfed she's been changed i still think she's just as oh strong as she God. was he's still with the semantics man yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm, is that, is that just because like I can't I can't accept that she's been nerfed because she's just been changed. John, um, can you do me a favor? Can you when you're editing later? Can you go back and just change what I said from nerf to change so that me and okay, have yeah. this conversation? We can just cut this whole conversation out. Perfect. Yeah. That yeah, sounds that's, good. That works. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> now Prince Gary's happy. <laughs> Prince Gary is getting his pudding again, him. boys. Let me get my cake back on where it should be. Ooh, um, <laughs> just know, Both. Gary, that wherever you want to place this chapter, Doug and I want to place it somewhere else. <laughs> Good. Then we can have an argument. I will say, like, also, the maps were a lot darker back then, so I imagine Nurse was more difficult to play because it was mm. easier to lose survivors. Like, now... Mm, definitely, yeah. It's really easy to keep track of survivors in DBD. Like, I don't know how... Once once they're on the run, it's it's mostly movement. If a survivor moves, you see them. That's also, some, it, something, something uh, to to take into account is how scratch marks have evolved over the years. Like yes. scratch marks used to be real yeah. bad and real inconsistent. Mm. And yes. you know, yeah. like, obviously like that's a very challenging thing to have balanced and clean, but like, and we've, we've had a lot, I think like right now, like the last year maybe has been like the best scratch marks I've ever been in DVD. Like they're yeah. actually pretty consistent mm. and I feel good. I don't feel like scratch marks are drunk and need to go home super <laughs> often anymore. But back in 2016, Oh, that was the wild west of scratch marks. boy. <laughs> It's crazy. So yeah, I think Nurse was harder to track back then again because it was dark and because scratch marks were dog shit. So. Yeah. Um, so, so, what do we what do we think? Because like I mean, we've also got some fun yeah. fun perks in there, like Nurse's calling, phantophobia, balance landing, um, urban evasion, streetwise. Yes. <laughs> I don't remember what that what Nurse's yeah, third one. Streetwise was the third one. Yeah. What's what's Nurse's third one? Yeah. Is it Strider? So, like, Strider, yes. nurses calling, Strider, yeah. nurses okay, calling, yeah. thanophobia. thanophobia. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. So, Go ahead, John. I, yes. Like the 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 grading rubric for this, I'm thinking, you know, like we wanna we wanna take into account like how the chapter was received at time of release and how it changed the game at time of release, but also looking back how it's affected the game uh, as a whole, you know, to current day, and whether that's been for the better or or not and also you know to a lesser extent how the perks have affected the game and mm, the yeah. overall quality of content in the chapter as well 
So I don't know. I don't really have a strong feeling on this one, frankly. Uh, I do. I do too, Gary. Oh, I hope it's different than yours. <laughs> Me too. But it That'd probably be great. Be. Let's start it off with a. Uh, oh, an unhinged you, argument. I'm excited. Do you want, do you want, do you want to go first, Doug, or do you want me to? Gary, I would like you to choose. You're the prince okay. here. So, instinctively, I hate Nurse. I think she's one of the worst things. I think she's an example of right. behavior, putting a band-aid on a game, which didn't need it, because they were still figuring out what the the core loop was. Like, it was still emerging what the game <coughs> was going to be, because um, I don't think they had a design document or something. But, um, she was a terrible idea, and mechanically, she still kind of ruins the game like i just don't like nurse um but i will say i do like nia i like balance landing i like the perks that she brought into the game and crota's pren is one of my favorite maps like it's the deserved ward is one of my favorite maps in the game um it, w interestingly it's my favorite map to get against a nurse because i think she struggles on it um especially in that main building so i would lean like i don't i'd probably put her in c tier oh, okay so Doug seems bothered. To, to, <laughs> you, you said the words out loud. The nurse struggles. Disturb Ward is one of my favorite maps. And that's okay, because current Disturb Ward is solid. Yeah, I really like Disturb Ward. But that's spoken like a guy who's not been playing this game since I didn't, 2016. Yeah, I didn't play it when before, it first came out. You can before the rework, that. Disturb Ward mm. was literally like the game Eerie of Crows it was bad. Shelter Woods level of dog shit map. Like, what mm. a terrible map. Oh, my God. Because like, was I remember the, when it, cause I remember playing it before it had the breakable doors on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was an it had insane main building, insane connecting tiles, like million pallets. It was such a strong survivor map. And then, like, I remember, and they didn't rework it till after um, the clown map came out, right? Because, like, I, I feel like so, yeah. I feel like there was a period of time where a Crotus Pren offering was like i'm either going to hate my life for 10 minutes or i'm gonna have a solid game did it, because did it get reworked with the dead dog i don't when recall. that came out I, I feel like some map reworks happened around uh, then i don't know this is this is what's so hard about oh, a game that's right. been around for six years and all these yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. either way map all was was all, coming back to coming back to the topic is gary saying that crotus print is a great map really ignores like the first couple of years that that map was in existence a few few years however many years it was mm. um it really ignores a lot of that that map was one of the very worst in the game, you know, and I think that that's probably not going to get a lot of pushback in the comments. Um, I would argue I like Nia as well. I like balanced landing. There was a period of time where a nurse's calling was legitimately like a top five perk in DB dealers. It was like a, it was like a yep. fucking standard meta perk for killer, mm. which I don't think was an unhealthy thing for the game. Um, I no. liked the nurse's calling. I thought it was good. It was an, ex it was a good Me perk too. to have. It was a very balanced perk, right? Um, Strider is useless except for spirit. I don't sign on, mm -hmm. you know, and that's kind of always always been. Um, Thana has obviously has been another like one of those love hate perks where like it's had its time in the meta. There was a period of time where people would insult you for running Thana because it was pointless. I think I think now it's pretty despised. Yeah. Up to the point even even if it's like a trap that strong, brings yeah. it, people still hate you for it. Yeah, well, I think people are really really just not fans of slowdown in any way right now. But no. Right. I don't care about any of that. None of that matters because, like, she fucking ruined DBD is the thing. So she has to be D tier. Sorry, but the nurse is the mm. reason why we have so many issues in DBD in, in general. Like, the nurse existing ruins it for everything. Because, like, every change you make affects the nurse and the clown and Myers equally. Every, every buff you do affects a match with the nurse and affects a match with fucking Trapper the same exact way. Like, her existence makes even the semblance of game balance a complete impossibility mm. so mm -hmm. i 100 agree with that full stop so to me no matter how great the chapter was and again cool idea right and again the perks yeah well no solid. no that's that's would, the trouble i would rate it i would rate a, the per it was an unfought through idea no, I mean, cool idea with having like a, a psycho nurse who's like oh right yeah who yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Who can yeah, teleport yeah. but yeah, like that's the cool. yeah 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 but the execution. Yeah, I remember there. when she came out, we were like, "Oh, this is really interesting. Like a new like way that a killer can move around the map." Because yeah. before that, I mean, it was like Wraith Trapper, Hillbilly. Obviously, like Hillbilly's got the chainsaw sprint. Wraith can go invisible, but there was no unique locomotion that they did. So this was like right. the first like major development in the game at the time. I remember that. Yeah, and if we're arguing, yeah, if we're talking cool. just if we're talking just perks, like her, the perks in this chapter, A to S tier, like they're some of the best perks you can get. And then this is a great, their base kit now, right? They're base in the game. But like, 
if you're if you're is you don't have to buy the DLC to get Nurse and Nia, right? Like that's like they're just a part of the base game now. Yes. Uh, I think so, yes. That? Are they? I think so. I think hmm. I can't remember. I think I they are part. I think they're just part of it now. Like you don't have to buy it anymore? Okay. No, I oh I know so. I know yeah. you don't have to buy Nia. Oh yeah, so you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're part of the base game, which makes those perks like pay- base perks, right? Which is right. super solid because if it was still a paid DLC, I would still argue that like this chapter could have like stand on its own just from the perks perspective. They're good perks, solid perks. And we'll I, talk- yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll concede quite happily because I hate Nurse. I despise her. I would yeah. quite happily have her deleted from the game. Um, like I yeah. do, I do think there's positives to mm-hmm. to the oh, chapter, yeah. but. My main ch- my main thing is that I really like the map, but you're right. I didn't play it when it first came out, and if you guys describe it as a nightmare, D tier it goes. I'm quite happy for that. And I that's that. and that's the thing. I would I would want a D tier with like a little asterisk, the like overall solid chapter, but you you have to be right. D tier because you ruin the game. Like you ruin yes, right, yeah. like yeah, like so. the content is quality. Yeah, but from a balanced perspective, over time, it's been a disaster. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. but they should have they should. Of- a lot of negative. They could have just reworked her much earlier and solved the problem, but she's still a problem. That's even right now, even today, with yeah. her rework. The, her, her nerf. Like, yeah, she's yeah. still this insane. Right. Anyway, we don't have to go there. We could talk about that in another episode. Yeah. For for our full thoughts on the nurse, please see our killer tier list in uh, <laughs> season five. Um, we'll move on to the next one then, which I think we're going to have a different opinion on, which is the Halloween chapter, which introduced not only Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise, but Laurie Strode uh, as a survivor, as well as the Haddonfield map. Um, and this was, I mean, Doug can talk to more about how the launch was for public matches. But just from a casual DVD fan at the time, I remember me and, me and my friends freaked out about this. We couldn't believe that they, we were like, this is such a great idea for them to get like a licensed killer for this game because it fit perfectly. And we played a couple of times in private matches and we were like, that's so cool. You can walk around Haddonfield. And at the time, you know, the map quality uh, not being what it is now in terms of graphics, but at the time it was still really neat. It was like, I'm walking on Haddonfield right now. There's Michael Myers, you know, and he had a really scary uh, presence with his power and stuff. And he was stealthed, Um, you know, Wraith, arguably the first stealth killer, but Nothing like working on a generator and turning and seeing Michael Myers staring at you. And that was um, probably the scariest thing in the game up to that point. So just from a casual observer at the time, it was like super hype when it came out. But uh, again, I, don't, I wasn't on the ground floor in the public matches at the time. You want me to go? God, this chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this chapter like made this game for me. I was. This is the reason why I became a killer main, first of all. I was like, Michael Myers is so cool, right? And like you said, first license chapter, and everybody was like, no shot, they got Michael Myers. Yeah, like people freaked right. out. Because back then, DBD was like a little shitty indie game. Like it wasn't, it didn't have a huge player base. It didn't have 50,000 concurrent viewers on Twitch every day. It wasn't like, it wasn't right. a big game. So for them to have Michael Myers be in the game was like, it blew people's minds, first of all. It got me really excited. They had never had a killer. Like you said, you mentioned Wraith as far as like stealth killer as well. When you first, back then, you guys may not know this, but. You started the game off as Wraith uncloaked and you had to cloak and they would hear you cloak. Oh, so there was yeah. no, there, you always I do remember that. I do remember yeah. that because Wraith was the, yeah. the killer I enjoyed playing. Yeah. So you always knew you were playing as a race. So that jump scare factor would like automatically be out, right? Cause you're like, oh, it's mm. a race. We got to, we got to watch for the Wraith now. So, but with Michael, you didn't have that. You didn't have, unless he teared up, you didn't know it was going to be him. So again, his, him as a, a stealth killer was like, super it's still one of the best game. feelings in the game now yeah yeah, yeah. Was, the amount of times where i'll be looking around the map be like, who is the killer i just see the little white mask of michael and i'm like oh no yeah <laughs> well and then, and then even when he teared up right he um when he teared up he still had you the mean, smaller terror radius so you never had we had never had a killer that had a manipulated terror radius before or when he teared up you'd immediately be like was it me yeah <laughs> did i was well, that, what, what, I what, 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 I'm, what i'm getting about is that even when he's in tier two even when he was in tier two he was a, a completely different experience to play against. Mm. You've never, there was no monitor and abuse wasn't in the game. Yeah. You know, right. Um, what is that? What is it? What do they call it? like, not insidious, but like, like the, the game mechanic, the, of him and like having no terror. That wasn't a thing yet. Like yeah. undetectable. Were, undetectable. 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 Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so like for, 
just your your overall play style was so different because Michael had a smaller tear radius, and it was just like. And then again, like you said, the map, the game was a lot uglier and darker back then. And of course, we can, obviously, that map, like most of the maps that launch, needed a rework because it just was really, really bad and unfun to play on. But mm-hmm. the, people didn't know any better in 2016, right? I still miss but, old Haddonfield. I'll say that. But we've talked a lot about Michael. We've talked a lot about the map, but we haven't talked about. Laurie Strode or fucking decisive strike coming out in this yeah. chapter, which was woo launch right. decisive strike. There's a reason why decisive strikes had like six reworks, guys. But like the first iteration of, De- of decisive strike was literally just if you got down and picked up, you got a free escape. Mm. Yeah, it, yeah. It was just there was no qualifier, no requirement. It, they picked you up. You didn't have to do anything. You just got a free escape, and that mm. was rough. Yeah. That was, no, that was I rough. that's definitely that's definitely something to keep in mind. Like we kind of we kind of glossed over the perks for Nurses chapter for good reason, but Decisive Strike is one of those perks that's defines the game since it came out. That it's was always changer. been controversial up mm-hmm. until very recently. And even 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 when it's bad and not used, it's still being brought up like should we buff Decisive Strike back like we kind of need it now or like should we leave it as is dead in the yeah. past. Oh, it, now now it's, now it's still one of those perks when you see it you're like what they brought Decisive no Strike way. like you right. recognize it immediately. Guys, and they pull it off now. When they pull it off, it's it's shocking now. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. But, yeah, it's always been a co- like a constant presence in the game, for sure. So that is something yeah. to consider. Yeah, and then Object of Obsession used to be, like, really, really annoying on maps. Where, oh, my like, God. There was, a, there was infinite loops. And oh, yeah, Object of Obsession. Twice as many palettes. Oh, so Object yeah. of Obsession. Like, it sucks because, like, I, I'm, and I think I probably will argue for S tier in this chapter um, eventually. But what I will say is, like, where... D tier nurse gets like a little bit of consideration for the perks being great. Like I would say a or S tier Halloween chapter, kind of like the perks have been a detriment in a lot of ways. There was a period of time which you guys weren't, you weren't playing for where like um, unrelenting and save the best for last can be combined to make it. So your wipe animation was like almost instant. And so they called it, they called it machine gun. Where you would hit them, yeah. and then they just wipe, and you could hit them again. They literally could not make it halfway up the basement stairs without going down. If you were running, save the best for last, unrelenting, and they didn't have it. It wasn't a stack based perk. It was just like when you hit somebody, you're gonna get like sixty percent reduction in your wipe animation. Speed. See, I feel like you have to take those kind of elements into consideration with a launch, and I'm going to add in the long term of the chapter. I don't like michael particularly i don't find him to be a very fun killer because like most most he's he's one of the weakest without are we just gonna do we just change gary's name to dbd twitter because i feel like he's just saying (laughs) things to get a reaction at this point because that can't be right because like i genuinely i yeah i don't enjoy playing against him i don't enjoy playing as him um I, I, I like playing as Myers I and I like love I, playing. I find that yeah. the fight, I find the matches I, either to be very similar to Trapper where it just nothing happens and you walk out the door or they've got infinite and tombstone and it's a miserable match where you well, just you just die at one point. And the first person caught gets to discover that and that's miserable. Like I don't like his add ons. I think they are mostly bullshit for that kind of thing. I just when I do have a really fun Myers match, it's great, but it's pretty like I, I love um oh what is it uh the the aura reading one what's that called we well, look through walls reading. oh 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 uh, uh scratch mirror scratch mirror that's oh, it like, God, I, see, I, I, I find i find that one mildly interesting but I hate <sighs> mildly well because like I've, I've enjoyed it when it's not just oh that i'm on leary's with michael i've done this match before oh i'm on midwitch with michael i've done this match before like i've had it on mother's dwelling once and I thought that mm-hmm. was like one of the best matches I've had of DVD ever. Like I just, it was so much fun because I didn't know what to expect. It was, he played it so well. Um, but generally, Michael's like a coin toss of a match for me. Um, mm-hmm. And and Laurie's like, I don't play Laurie. I don't, <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. I don't, yeah. don't particularly do, like yeah. her as a survivor. I um, used to main her. I mained her back in the day, but I don't play her anymore. Um, you know, I'm going to a big moment here where I'm going to, I'm going to acknowledge that what you said is accurate. Like the Michael meta right now is gross. It's just like 90% is. of the Michaels you go against are either running infinite or tombstone, mostly I, tombstone. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I, I don't know. 
I wonder, uh, it's like we're looking back at, at an ancient relic with that of like, they, they didn't really quite know what they were doing with the add-ons at the time. And now it seems ridiculous to be like, well, you can yeah. just kill someone without even hooking them. That's ridiculous. But like, we're looking at that from now, but then that is what we're supposed to be partially basing our writing. I, I, I can't talk about how many, when he came out, cause I didn't really play DVD back then, but like the long-term yeah. effect of the chapter is like, it's, I think Michael could yeah. do a rework. Like, I don't know, like Haddonfield, I liked old Haddonfield a bit. I love new Haddonfield for the most part. Well, it really depends on how the doors spawn. I think um, it's, <laughs> it's kind of frustrating because it's like, I feel like Michael's needed a rework for a while and he just hasn't gotten one. And mm, yeah. I feel like if he did, I would have no problem being like, ah, eh, S tier. But yeah, it is like the fact that Tombstone is still in the game and so I, 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 I would hair and stuff. It's like, so I would lean towards B tier because I don't think no, he's trash. I think no, he's really no, interesting. I, no. No, he needs A. This is oh, this he is needs a. In, in a lot of ways we give the Halloween chapter bonus points, the same way we give the nurse chapter negative points because Michael paved the way for like all licensed chapters moving forward. Like to me, right. this like the Halloween mm -hmm. chapter was like an innovative like it blew the game up and like like that, that was probably like the first player increase wave the game ever had was like oh my god Michael Myers in that game I'm buying it I'm playing that, it. I want to play that as is Michael a Myers. That is a fair point. The way you acknowledge my perspective, I, that's a very good point. I'll acknowledge right. yours. Yeah, fair, fair enough, so, A tier, because that is right. true. Like, he paved the way. We we might not have Resident Evil and Silent Hill and all these other mm -hmm. excellent, like, chapters without yeah. Michael. Without right. Michael's somewhat subpar one. Yeah, and, and for, for all of the kind of archaic gameplay-related elements that we're not too fond of in this chapter... The, the quality of the chapter at the time was mind-blowing, like we said. Mm. And like we said, it paved the way for the rest of the licensed chapters. But they, they kind of set a quality standard with this one uh, yeah. for their licensed content, which has always been pretty strong, I think. Some yeah. more than others, but in general, pretty strong. And I think it deserves A tier for sure. I will say the Tombstone Mori is very good. Yeah. Like when it happens, it's mm. like there's something yeah. enjoyable. Even, even when it's frustrating because you've just been insta-killed, it's you can't help but be like that's a cool Mori, right? <laughs> it was it was definitely the best Mori at the time too. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, compared oh, to yeah. Raven yeah. and, yeah. and Trapper. I don't yeah. know, man. I don't know because Nurse came out first, and Nurse's Mori is actually really solid. I like I, I like the like, when right. I like when she strokes the face at the end. God, Mori's. Huh? Have we ever done a Mori tier list? We're gonna have to. That's a oh, great. We idea. have to now. We, we need to do that. We have to wait till till a certain new chapter comes out, and they maybe will adjust things after. So uh, fucking on. good. <laughs> what was that just now? That was uh, such I a had strange a, I, reaction. I think I hiccuped. Uh, my bad. Uh, okay. Um, you're already a fog whisperer, Doug. Uh, let's listen to the the soft sounds of the hag with Of Flesh and Mud, the next oh, it's, chapter. It's Gale the Snail. <laughs> so God, this... Bro. I, actually, I actually didn't... Like when I played private matches with my friends, we were hyped about Michael, so we played, we played a good deal of the Halloween chapter. But when the Hag came out, we didn't exactly uh, all jump out of our seats and got, get into a Discord call like we got it, we got to play the new Hag chapter. Look, she's covered um, so, in mud. Yeah, so I didn't actually get to experience this one when it came out, so I don't really have much to offer in terms of perspective. But this is the chapter that came out with the. Uh, the Hag Killer, obviously. I believe it came out with... Um, did it come out with both Grim Pantry and Pale Rose swap maps, or just one of those? Uh, I don't remember. I, I don't remember both look. maps were in. I think that... I feel like both maps were in. Mm, both swap launch. maps? Yeah, because I don't like know when the other one would have come out. Yeah. yeah. Unless uh, they were... I, th I think it just came out with the Pale Rose. Okay. And they added Grim Pantry huh. after, huh? Yeah, it just came out with sure. Pale Rose. Okay. And also Ace. Yeah, and Ace just gone too. Yes, Ace, Ace was, was survivor. the survivor. Weird to think that he was the second new survivor. Yeah, like the second new well, original. Yeah, yeah. It was like because yeah, like we had Nia, then Lori, yeah. then Ace. Yeah, because like David feels like that he should be in that spot. David was, was early. He was he was early. Yeah, he, he yeah was he's coming up. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy to think that Ace has been around since like 2016 or yeah. I don't remember. I think yeah, this was 2017, right. wasn't it, when it came out? Gary? Uh. Ju I think uh, so. Eighth, eighth of December, twenty sixteen. So oh, what Hag did make Hag did make twenty sixteen. Yeah. Damn. Wow. 
Damn, that's crazy. okay. Okay, I've got so all the nerd numbers ready to so go. So yeah, I know. Thank you for being the nerd here. I can do 100 push-ups in a row, so I need Gary to write <laughs> stuff down and remember it for me. Um, so this chapter coming out uh, changed the game in a lot of ways because it invented. It was our first chapter with hex totems. Yeah, hex ruin, hex mm. ruin, hex devour, hex third seal were her mm-hmm. perks when they came out. So it added a brand new game mechanic that had never been seen before. Um, so yeah, because you know that. Noah was in the game, but Noah didn't have a hex totem originally. No, yeah, right, right. So this yeah, is, so this I, is where we we learned about hex totems for the first time. Buff Noah back to how it used to be. Please, yeah. So she, <laughs> yeah, she came out with three hex perks. I forgot about that hex yeah. ruin, which talk about a game defining perk. Yeah, we talk about decisive strike ruin. Wow. Um, and then what were the other two that she had? Uh, it was third like seal, third, third seal, seal under our hope. Okay. Okay, third seal and devour hope. So devour was like right up there. Third seal is one of my favorites. I love when that perk comes into a match. It's always, yeah. always a nice surprise. I bring it occasionally. Yeah, nice I love it when I'm swiffing door. and I'm like, oh, we're all blind. I'll just tell you where I am. <laughs> that's yeah, the the that's the trouble. Nothing. That's the trouble with it. Cool, man. The, we <laughs> yeah. call that the, we call that the knockout effect. Yeah. So, um, ruin. I don't know if you guys played with original ruin, but the way ruin worked when it came out was um when you were doing gens if you hit a regular skill check it would like pause the gen for five seconds yeah and you Mm. you would only you would get no bonus progression for a great all you would get is that it wouldn't regress and basically Mm -hmm. like you you would continue to like just be frozen on this gen and cause the gen to take like a tremendous amount of time if you couldn't hit great skill checks I remember that, was, that. I remember that Ruin it. original. Yeah. And so, you know, people would like counter by Tap tapping them. the gen. They just they're in crouch gen and tap. do it. Somebody out went out and did the fucking math and found out that if you gen tap it, it's faster than than risking not hitting great skill check. Like you'd still take longer to finish the gen than just a standard gen, but tapping was faster on average than trying to hit the great I, skill check. I still I've seen I've seen occasionally I bump into someone still doing it. Yeah, I know. And it's like, what yeah. are you doing? And there's not like somebody being carried to the hook or anything, so they're not trying to counter yeah. pain res or even erupt. Maybe they're trying to counter eruption. I don't know. Yeah, I've wrong. seen people do that too. I'm like, why? What's wrong with you? Yeah, I know we had we had gen tapping as a punishment card in Light in the Fog, and those gens took forever. So yeah, yeah, no. But yeah, that's basically the perks right because i mean did any of or any of ace's perks like even remotely impact open-handed um ace in the hole up the ante and yeah ace in the hole yeah Yeah, i mean those those have all been pretty unimpactful yeah like Like, niche perks right you got the one that makes like aura reading yeah open-handed is probably the strongest of those i would say yeah and then there's there's always people that like to rock the uh the looting perks and stuff Mm, yeah yeah Mm. Overall, how yeah, how was her power when when she first as like that changed at all? Oh yeah, I was excited to talk uh, about this part. <laughs> so when the hag released, she was literally fucking useless. Like it, it was like like literally the worst killer ever. Like it's never it's never ever ever gonna be worse than launch hag. I swear to oh, God, it's impossible. I wish she had it's, stayed that way. So when when you when oh, so I want to go what, back in time and play no original, bro no <laughs> bro. So she was one ten right? She's one ten. Yeah, right. right. And and she could teleport, but when she teleported to her traps at launch. You had to, you were frozen in place for one full second. So you'd teleport to him. You're like, and then you could start chasing and you had to start from a dead stop. So you didn't even start like moving right at 110. Oh. You had to like ramp to 110. So they'd set off a trap. It was like impossible to get a hit off of a teleport unless they stood still. If that, like, it, I, don't, I don't know if this happened back then, but that was the case. Now you would, you'd get back, like you'd teleport to your little phas, phantasm trap and you have a survivor teabagging in front of you. No, oh yeah, you were stuck for a second. Yeah, and they would run away. <laughs> yeah, and now think, think this is in 2016. So there are twice as many pallets on the map. Mm, there are right. infinites. There are still infinites in the game, and like mm-hmm. you teleport to your trap, and you have to f- stand in place for a full second before you can start moving. Like you literally couldn't. She's impossible to catch anybody with. Like you literally, like you're playing a 110 killer with no power when you played her. It was awesome. So funny. <laughs> and it could never happen now, right? Like, they would never make it out of testing. It would never make it through a PTB. But, yeah. Right. when It's just funny when I – and, again, I, I don't always flex it. But, like, when I see people complaining so hard about, like, 
you know the 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 knight, the knight and, and you know you know the the skull merchant <clears throat> and it's like man these kids didn't these kids weren't there for half they haven't bro. suffered yeah so uh just as like a fun little added segment for these i i went ahead and I, I've, I've got the steam charts up for the average uh player base for this oh. uh, for december 2016 guess how much how, how many average players dbd had at the time that this that the hag released two thousand four thousand seventeen thousand seventeen oh, okay wow, wow. Mm-hmm. so dbd's been doing well wow. maybe that, well, maybe that was at, the My- myers like effect yeah it it is, it is partially the Myers effect because at launch the average was around eleven thousand. That was in June twenty sixteen. If I remember correctly, Myers came out around October twenty sixteen ish. Is that yeah. right? Mm, uh, yeah. And um, yes, October twenty fifth. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, the average for October was twelve thousand. So it went from twelve to seventeen thousand in less than two months, just from Myers, pretty much. Yeah. Nice. Pretty cool. It would be interesting to hear that data and see if it like dips up and down a little bit. Oh, it does. This will oh, be a excellent. Fun game. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to it now. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, where would we put. D- where would we rank the hag? D- well, like, I, I will say, before we throw her completely in the bin, Doug, she's also been shit <laughs> ever since she came out. Yeah. Um, she, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, that's the thing. An unenjoyable she's... experience throughout. That's true. Like, no no yeah. one plays her because she's boring to play. And. Right. And when you do go up against a hag, you're in for a boring match. Like it's yeah. just really yeah. uninteresting. Like if, if they if bring people find or bring flashlights, she's completely countered. Yeah. Well, it's like I feel like there's there's three negative marks for this chapter because a everything you're saying about the hag is true, not fun. Uh, B is any survivor more infuriating to play against than a teabagging ace? Oh god, he's and C always so good. <laughs> the swamp maps are generally disliked as well. Yes, I so, hate maps. Overall, on content, I think yeah. there's a strong case for D tier. Uh, there's I just will no say, wins here. I, well, well, there is there is one there is one win. What is the hex totems oh are cool? Oh my gosh, I like that hex totems. That is true. I, yeah, I so like I hex would I, I would fight totems. I would fight for the bottom of C, just because I, I really rather... like hexes. But wow, I'm no. accepting. I would accept D just Fucking because way. hexes are sad. kind of in the bin at the moment. I really like hexes. Because I think... Because the hex servers aren't even good. Oh, God. Oh, but they're so much fun. I think maybe yeah, King really of D is where I'm at. It's really fun to have I can a, accept perk, that. a perk that gets cleansed in the first 30 seconds of the match because everybody fucking knows where the dull spots are at. Poggers. Yeah. Do now. But back then. Poggers. Poggers. <laughs> uh, no. Hex totems are another thing that I wish had never been implemented and they're just like... They just <gasps> suck. Whoa. I'm clutching my pearls right now. <laughs> I am clutching mine as well. Clutch them hard, Clutch them hard Prince Gary. You'll be fine. So, Doug, Live. are we okay with King of D? Yeah. For King Hag? D? No, I'm not okay with that at all. But you don't, you yeah. don't think it should be above Nurse? Uh, above Nurse for sure. I guess okay. you're saying you're saying King of D right now, right? King yeah, of D right we, now. That, that, that may that may open change. to discussion later. Because I'm later. happy to put her in D. Not, like, I just not, I want to make the point clear that. Hex totems are cool. I do like hex totems. Devour yeah. is one of my favorite perks to like bump into as a survivor. I think it, it changes exciting. the dynamic. It's very yeah, it's a very exciting perk. Yeah, I love but, Devour but when I. But it's it, it is ambitious to be like it. That's that perk's not good enough to save how miserable Hag is. I suppose no, no, or how detestable Ace is. We'll take it into consideration. But, <laughs> yeah. Take it under advisement. I'm gonna be yeah, fighting for my fucking life today, aren't I? With this detail. You always are. <laughs> That's true. I guess yeah, I am. That's the, that's the, the way. The that's the way we I like am, it. I am the abused killer man. Oh, you know, everything is. <laughs> well, oh, how I suffer! Oh, They're taking eruption away from me. Two of them got out once. Oh, <laughs> I only oh, got God. a. I only got a three k. They oh, found the hatch before I got there. They found the hatch. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on. The next one is uh, left behind, which is the chapter featuring Bill, and. No killer. This was the first yeah. solo character DLC, and it was free. Yeah, they also released cosmetics, Left 4 Dead cosmetics for like Jake and uh, I feel like Meg got one, didn't she? I oh, know that's more. I. I always I remember, forget that. Oh that's, yeah, she got the yeah. I remember the the Francis Jake cosmetic is what I remember. Yes, because people I, I, now that you mention it, hard because because like I see I see that cosmetic now sometimes. And whenever I see it, I'm like, that's a weird Jake cosmetic. And I just forgot that it's supposed to be Francis. I completely yeah. forgot. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. So, um, I, well, I, 
I mean, let, let John maybe you want to take your initial ranking, or you want to? Are you tuning the kickback thing? You want us to do it? I, I feel like, I feel like, because we didn't get a map for this, we didn't get a killer for this, so we're really just kind of ranking the build DLC on the perks, because that was really the only feature that entered the game was yeah. borrowed time, unbreakable, and the titular perk left behind. I think that um, there's so gonna how... be some consideration for like the like the coolness and the aesthetic too, right? Though, mm. like we keep taking into consideration. Oh yeah, it like was, it was Left for Dead. Yeah, it and was, it's the it first was... video game DLC. Yeah, because this was pretty exciting when it came out because yeah. it was the second their second foray into the licensed chapter territory, and Bill's a very beloved character, and you can play as him in DVD. So and it suggested we going. might see horror games crossing over, not just horror films. Yeah. Yes. True. Yeah. True. So I'm, I mean, my, my initial, I don't like Bill. I don't, I'm not that attached to Left 4 Dead as a game, and I can smell his beard. It stinks of cigarettes. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't like Bill What does this have to do with anything? I just, I just yeah, don't if you, like if you have If you haven't yet uh, listened to our um, our Survivor tier list, go ahead, oh, like, Survivor teammate trust tier list, go ahead and pause, go back and listen to what we said about Bill. Um, yeah. All applies to this, here. To this day, we're st- that yeah, here. To this day, we're still looking for a good Bill player. So just copy I mean, paste it here. Yeah, I believe yeah. that was uh, season fifteen, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that we talked yes. about that. I I do think borrowed time and unbreakable have like they are fun parts. They have they have changed the game in a lot of ways. Borrowed time when they it came have. out was insane. Uh, when you went for the unhook, it would give you protection as well as the person you were unhooking. Maybe um, that which, should return. I would vote for it, yeah. And that's a whole different discussion. And I know Killer yeah. Man's out there right now, literally. Maybe we'll talk about that in season 21, see if we can wind some people up. Yeah, they just, they just right. smash the bag of Cheetos puffs on their desk. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Borrow time puffs? What? But, like, the reality is um, that was, like, their first de- uh, behavior's first foray into, like, well, we got to stop tunneling because people figured that out as a good strategy. So right. Borrow Time was born to stop people from camping. Which, you know, I'll, I'll appreciate it and add a new killer <laughs> that just ruins the game, so that's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think that the perks are awesome and very healthy and remain healthy for the game in this current state. Um, mm-hmm. I would argue that Bill being, like you said, the first video game licensed character was a really good... Uh, was really good. There's bonus points. Um, I guess minus points for there being no new map or killer I'm, but it's a free dlc so. i'm good yeah i'm gonna argue right. that that's actually also a good sign think about let's go back to hag we took points away because it's a crap map sometimes mm-hmm. not adding stuff is a good thing Addition that's true fashion, it didn't yeah. Add, yeah it didn't add anything that i would say was bad yeah that's how i feel about it i i would put it in b because it's free b for bill yeah b for bill yeah. it's free it didn't really hurt the game at all it added some fun perks which are interesting even left behind is kind of entertaining because if you see that person in the post game you're like Jesus. i'm glad you died mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> so that's how i feel and i don't like bill particularly but i accept that he had he was a positive impact on the game just being a video game license is a good thing yeah, how's this yeah. guy doing my bill impression when you said i don't like bill but i want to shout you down bill <laughs> reloading bill. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he's kind of dope, honestly. Like, what a badass dude! He's old and pissed off. Also, I went through a phase where I was trying to get into comic books um, because I wanted to like expand my nerdery, and I got really into a comic series that was based on Left 4 Dead, which like told like Bill's story of like how he like ends up eventually dying. Oh. And so I feel a little more connected to Bill the character probably than either of you because I know I played a, a like a, a ton of Left 4 Dead when it came out, and Left 4 Dead too. Like I was really into that game. Those games, that series, and um, mm-hmm. I was never a big Bill player, but I was a member. You know, I was a member of the Left 4 Dead community in Left 4 Dead Two, and then again, I have like the the connection with Bill on the comic book series. But I would also not argue against B. I mean, for me, it would be hard to argue higher than B tier because again, it was a little, it was a skinny chapter, and yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, and then like <laughs> I if think you guys B is are, fine. If you try to push for like C, I probably would argue, but. I'm definitely not gonna yeah. come up. I'm not gonna go to uh, bat. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna go to bat to put left behind in the same category as Halloween as far as like chapter impacts. So. Yeah. And like I think I have the least connection to Bill. I give the least shit about him, but I'm not gonna put him in C. I don't think he belongs in C. Okay. Yeah. No, I think B is fine. All right. Uh the next one is Spark of Madness. Which well, what's the date on this one, Gary? 
Uh, this came out on the 11th of May, 2017. A Thursday. May 2017. Wow. Um, so this gave us the doctor as the killer. It gave us um, Fung Min as mm-hmm. the survivor. And it gave us Leary's uh, Correctional Memorial Facility Institute. or whatever. Memorial Institute. That's what it is. Or what has uh, behavior as referred to it in patch notes in the past, the hospital map. Yes. What's the, da- what's the date on that one again? Uh, the 11th of May. Okay, cool. I need so, to, okay. guess how, what the average players were on this release. I, it's, so, it was at 17,000 with Hag. I doubt Bill That's made right. much of an impact. I'm going to go lower. I'm going to say it, it dipped to 14,000. I have to ask you a question about your metric. Is it going to just, are we looking at just the day the chapter came out? Are we looking at? Does it like keep calculate the month of the chapter came out? The month. That's re- I'm just looking at the okay. month. Yeah. That's that's relevant for a reason that I'll mention after. But I'm gonna guess it dropped a little bit, but, or maybe even a lot bit. Because I, I guess fourteen thousand. I guess eleven thousand. Mm. Uh, eight thousand nine hundred was the oh, average player count. You want to know why? I do. I know. I, I know why. Love to know. I know why. Okay. I was playing back then because you were playing if, back. Then fuck then? off, Gary. Let me talk for one second. Just let me say words. We already did speak. that. God, we already did that bit. We've already done that bit. Yeah. Jesus. Um, fifteen days after the doctor released, Friday the Thirteenth, the game came out. It came out oh. the same month. May May twenty seventeen was when Friday the Thirteenth came out, and that's why we saw a massive um. dip because people because I will I will attest to the fact that the DBD community was getting bored, and the doctor coming out. The doctor had a very similar issue to the hag. He was absolute booty butt cheeks when he launched like he was you couldn't get a kill to save your life he was bad he's a bad killer Mm -hmm. he had some weird detonation delay i can't remember the specifics but i will tell you that like when he launched i don't think i bought the chapter right away i don't i think i played friday the 13th the game before john with the night yeah well and then because again back then i was a heroes of the storm streamer bro i wasn't Mm -hmm, i played dvd mm -hmm. i enjoyed it i played with my friends i played killer on my own like i enjoyed it but like i wasn't obsessed with dvd yet um mm, right. i had gone through a phase halloween got me really into the game and had me considering streaming it but at this point i still wasn't streaming it um and i streamed friday the 13th when it came out like i think i started streaming it like within a month or two like i mean might have been a couple months but the point i'm getting yeah. at is that as a I, one of the rare times in my dvd career that i can say as a casual dvd player I was experiencing what other people were experiencing, which was the game was getting stale. Um, okay. There was a lot of Sabo squads that were like saboing all the hooks on the map. So what you had to do is you had to run agitation, and iron grass just to get people to basement hooks because you couldn't hook them anywhere else. So mm-hmm. to respond to the Sabo problem, killers were all running machine gun. So it just turned it. The meta, we talk about the meta being really stale and the eruption. So the machine recently. gun situation was still in the game at that point. I don't remember when they nerfed it. But yes, there okay. was during this again. You're gonna have to bear with me on my spotty memory. No, it's gonna be fine. This was like years no, and years sorry, ago. I'm just... But during yeah. during that phase of the game, there was like an us versus them, Sabo squads versus machine gun, and like I remember I'm glad that us versus them mentalities died down in DB. True. That's, that's, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> yeah, I love when people act like that's not been a thing, and I love when people act like people haven't been pissed about nurse since day one. Because they'll be like, well, why are people all of a sudden so upset about Nurse? Like, nah, but I was there when she came out. Everybody always hated Nurse. Like, she was always a problem. Um, but yeah, sorry, going back to what I was saying about the chapter, right? Is like, I was experiencing casual DVD player where I was like, I don't play as much as I used to. The doctor came out. I was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to buy the chapter. I don't think I'm going to buy that DLC. I, I'm going to save and buy Friday the 13th instead. You know, and then Friday the 13th mm-hmm. came out and I bought it and I played it. And a lot of DVD players were like, you know, fuck DVD. Friday the Thirteenth is the new thing, and like that's why that game yeah. was like massively popular at launch. Yeah, um, I remember. Then, I remember having that attitude at the time because um, there was just something about Dead by Daylight that kind of annoyed me at the time. And so I remember when Friday the Thirteenth came out. I remember really rooting for it. I was like, I want this game to beat DVD. That was. Yeah. You know, I was the original VHS fan, I guess. <laughs> uh, I was like, this is it. This is the DVD killer. They'll do it right. And uh, so, yeah, I, that, that sense was definitely in the air. I was not the only one that had that 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 wish. Right. And so, as the, you know, the casual player base is getting bored of the game, and then the doctor comes out. And then, again, the last chapter before this one was a survivor-only chapter. And the last mm. chapter before that was the hag, which was like a fucking disastrous launch. 
And it took them like mm-hmm. forever to fucking to buffer because like she was she was just back then they didn't they didn't I mean I mean it's just they were in the early stages of development it just took them longer to make changes I think and stuff like that. Um, Smaller yeah. so team probably at the time so. Yeah, so I just think that like we had we had Halloween blew the game up and everybody was super stoked and then <clears> the <throat> hag comes out and she's like really bad and unfun and then we get a survivor only chapter which is like okay cool we got a few perks but it doesn't really change the game much and then the doctor launches and he's uninspiring again to play as he's very weak and his kit is like cumbersome. Cause he used to have like two stances where you were either in punishment mode where you could hit people or you're in discipline mode where you could shock people. Um, I think it was, I think that's right. Might that be, sounds might, really annoying right. to play. I might've flip flop which one was which I think, I think punishment was M1. Flip flop. We haven't got discipline. to Ash Williams yet. Yeah. Wah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but yeah so it was just like and then everybody's like friday the 13th right around the corner and i think that a lot of us were like playing other games and like okay well dvd is stale this new killer is lackluster and friday so the 13th will be here in two do weeks we, we'll do we do we take do we take into account the dead by like the chapter didn't come up with come with like a fix to problems that were building up from other chapters i mean the map was bad the killer was bad what was the survivor in this chapter uh, Fung, uh, Fung Min. Well, I mean, <laughs> from a purely business standpoint, though, this has got to be one of their best DLCs because yeah. <laughs> fucking everybody plays and Fung, And, right? like I will say, Alert's yeah. a great perk. Life's a great perk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the other one? Oh, oh, hang on. Technician. Oh, Technician. Nah, two out of three is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Technician's there. Um, yeah. I will also argue that Monitor and Abuse was a really, really cool perk. And that is very good. It was. Yeah. It was very good. Overcharge. Yeah, overcharge. Well, back then overcharge was like, it only had the missed skill check like thing. It was only just the uh, yeah. Oh, the skill impossible check, skill but, check. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't do the bonus regression. Yeah, um, and then unnerving presence was kind of just like me. There was definitely like the perks were definitely good for like niche builds and stuff. And then back mm. then there was a lot less perks, so it was nice to have some some like new stuff. But I don't know. Overall, I think that this chapter was a big flop. Like, I mean, and mm-hmm. then again. Even after they buffed Noctur and he became like he he held that two stance um, kit for a long time before they actually reworked him into what we have now. It's, it's interesting argue, yeah. that he he was so terrible because I love Doctor, one of my favorite killers. Um, it, the only thing I have a problem with now is that he can kind of shock hooks forever. He used to be so much worse, Gary. So it used to be when you were when you were in uh, punishment mode or discipline mode, the shock mode. When you're in shock mode. I don't recall which one it was. That's a better name for um, it, so it works. You couldn't hit somebody, but you you could yoink them off of a gen or off of an unhook. And so what you could do is you could face camp with Doctor, and there was literally no way for them to get the unhook. Because if you just rapidly tapped M1, no matter what, if they locked the unhook, you would yoink them. So right. it was like the Doctor mm-hmm. before Bubba was like the face camping killer because like they just could not unhook if you stayed in shock mode. No matter what. And he didn't have the ult where you could like do the AoE shock. It was just a direct shock or an M1. Those were the two things he could do. When so you it, stayed, if you stayed in that shock stance, there was, so what, it was impossible to save. What I'm hearing yeah. is basically, does Fong Min put it in C tier or does it go into D tier? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Here. I mean, honestly, because the map has always been kind of bad. Well, then the you, map was... I, this also introduced the concept of indoor maps which at the time I remember wanting, but looking back now, I'm like, there's so many things that don't work in DVD with indoor maps. And yeah. I kind of wish that they I do like Leary's where it is now, though. It. Like, it's still not one of my favorite maps to get, but I genuinely, like, it's a it's a different experience it was, being on Leary's. Yeah. It was the first map that they remade, which I think says a lot, though. Mm. <laughs> because, yeah, original Leary's was kind of a nightmare. I still remember, it's so blue. It's like seared into my brain how blue that thing was. <laughs> yeah. Hard to look at. Easy to lose survivors on that stupid thing, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm fine with D tier, but if we want to do C, I'm fine with that, too. I'm I'm happy either or. It sounds like a D tier to me, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you, guys just, just, yeah. you guys know it better than I do. I just know. Yeah. I like where it is now for the most part. Uh, I yeah, quite like I, Doctor. I'm but... actually like struggling, though, because like I don't want to put a chapter where like the survivor and the killer are both like 
now they're good. Like, I mean, Fung is obviously right. like one of the most impactful survivors in DVD. Everybody plays it. She's got the most. Could this, maybe, maybe C tier is a good spot for it. Yeah. Maybe C is like, good because it's like it was, it would have been a D tier on launch, but they've fixed a lot of it now. Like, exactly. Yeah, better now. Strong, Fung means very right? popular. Yeah. Larry's is fine. To a I would, extent. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I would say it's fine as a. Stretch, well, compared to what how it used to be, compared to like, original Larry's, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think we're gonna put them up, put them, put Spark of Madness up with Bill, but I definitely no. don't no. want to put her with put them with Nurse and Hag either. Like those are like unequivocal fucking failures of chapters, and this one like mm. there's enough good for me. Yeah, and, and even with the perks, like I think that yeah, I think that's fair. I think C tier is the best yeah, best spot. So. Perfect. All right. Next is uh, Lullaby for the Dark, and this is the chapter that gave us the Huntress, one of the most popular killers in the and entire now, game. Now a base part of the game, I believe, right? Huntress is a yes. part, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. This this is uh, now a base part of the game, and the survivor for this was David, I believe. Yeah. I'll double check, but yes, it was David. Welcome and to Dead w- by Daylight, Dead Hard. Let's go. Was. What did the Grim Pantry come with this one, or was it a different think, map? Isn't this? Hang on, let me try and find a map. No, it's a, yeah, it's Mother's Dwelling. That's her map. I thought oh, it's it was. Mother's yeah. Dwelling. It's just, okay. it's just Forest, getting its visual yeah. update, right? Red, Red Forest. Yeah. 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 yeah Red Forest. Okay. Yeah. So, Mother's Dwelling. Yeah, that makes sense now that you mention it. Um. So yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of perks that came in with this game, uh, or with this chapter. There was uh, a Hunt- Hex Huntress Lullaby, obviously. Which is a. I love um, that perk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was, um, was it Territorial it's... Imperative? Yeah, oh. yeah, I've got, I've got them here. I'm, I'm seeing if you can remember what they both are. Cause... Uh, I, I know there are three bad perks. I so remember what the, perk, the third perk does. I remember what it does. I don't think I remember the name, but it's the one where when you're in chase for a certain amount of time and you get bloodlust, like your terror radius goes away and your yeah. red stain goes away. That's it. Uh, Beast of uh, Prey. Beast of Prey. Beast of one. Prey. I would yeah. not have remembered that. There you go. <laughs> I remember what it did. I'll tell you what, right now, yo, Territorial Imperative when it dropped, as a as a DVD streamer and a dude who played mm-hmm. Killer, I fucking loved that perk on Billy, because you could hook him in the basement and do whatever, and like you'd get triggered, you get notified, so I could just hard come back to the basement. <laughs> I used to do that nice. all the time. That was like yeah. my Billy strat. Instant saw, Territorial Imperative Billy. That was my, that's my jam back then, boys. <laughs> well, sounds like it's an S tier. Yeah. Well, well, I'm, well gonna, I'm gonna. Well, I will say. I, I mean, I'm new to Huntress. Um, I've been really enjoying Huntress. I think I would argue she is one of the best designed killers. Full stop. Like, I don't think there's many mm-hmm. killers that I would rank as high as Huntress. I think. I think Mother's Dwelling's a interesting map. I do generally like it. Um, I'm looking forward to its visual update. David's awesome. Um, I think he's one of what he's got to be right up there with one of the most played. These he, male survivors less played I guess. now but at, at he was very popular for a very long time yeah yeah um I, dead hard's a bit of a nightmare <laughs> yeah this <laughs> chapter only... did introduce dead hard to the game but i think dead hard took a long time for you to get really really upset with it also, I think a yeah, lot was... of that upset might be invalid. So for me, I don't. I don't know if I want to mark <laughs> yeah, it down yeah, yeah. for Dead Hard. I don't know if I want to yeah. mark Dead Hard down. Honestly, I like I. I don't... Personally, mm. I would quite happily just instant. Like as soon as I saw we were talking about um, the Huntress's chapter next, I was like, "Well, that's an S tier for me." Like I, I think she's excellent. Yeah. I don't really have anything that I can say that's really that bad about I mean, her. The Huntress is my favorite killer to play. So. If if y'all want to go for S tier, I'm I'm down. Oh, I'm yeah. down what's for the, that. What's the what are the stats like? Like player wise, oh, yeah. at that point, she's the, she's yeah, she is, and she is the most played up up until Wesker. She's the most played killer in DVD. Mm. So, what was the uh, what was the release date for this, Kerry? Uh, the release date was twenty seventh of July, twenty seventeen. Ooh, okay, I've got it right in front of me. Um, it's ten thousand two hundred. So it's gone 10, up three hundred. So it went up, yeah. Um, it's worth noting that it seems like they were releasing like within like two months of each other. Then, so they were a little bit quicker than like every three months, then, like they are now. Yeah, there may, there may have been a we need to do something to get people was, back. That probably came with some fixes potentially. I don't know if Doug, you remember any of that? But like, I, I would, can't remember any. I mean, I would love to have the kind of memory where I could be like, oh, that was when they they changed this and buffed mm-hmm. that. But like, I just really don't. I remember at that period of time, I was full time Friday the Thirteenth streamer, mm-hmm. and I still played DVD. 
Uh, but I mostly played Survive with friends, with my friends that I kind of like left behind when I started playing Friday the 13th like a psycho. Right. Um, I barely played against Huntress at launch like because I just really didn't play that much. I didn't buy the chapter, I don't think. I don't recall. Maybe I did. I mean, I, I'm pretty OCD about that kind of stuff, like having to own everything, right? But like, was, what's so funny, Gary? I just I had to fight the urge to make a joke so badly. Why don't you I already, made, it. I already made a joke things. when you said about flip flop. When you said left behind, I was like, "We've done that one." <laughs> you like, should have done it. That's I don't want to interrupt you. Thing. I don't want to interrupt I was, you. I was thinking the same thing, Gary. Great, <laughs> great minds think alike. Just interrupt me. I deserve it. Um, yeah, I, I would say that again. The numbers being a little lower on the player base makes sense. I mean, they're coming up, but they're a little lower. Mm. Makes sense because yeah, Friday the Thirteenth at that point was still in full swing. That was like the peak. I think it was July twenty seventeen. Yes, it was. Like, it Friday was. the Thirteenth was like. It was like there new chapters coming out. They had new stuff, content being added to the game. People were like insane right. about the game. And then Huntress kind of came out to, to counter that. I would say that for me, I don't really like playing Huntress. Huntress is on my bottom five in terms of like really? enjoying playing her. And also wow. just as a DVD streamer who's a killer man, I'm going to be honest with you. I have some personal bias. Kind of annoying how many streamers are like obsessed with this killer. And I'm like, okay, we get it. You want to? Yeah have clippable moments and have like cross maps and like, well, but just for me, I'm like, maybe I'm just bitter because I'm old and my technical skills suck. So I'm like, I can't do that stuff. But I, I've yeah. always had like kind of a negative slant towards Huntress. Oh, in my, in I my, really I, enjoy playing. I, I enjoy sad. playing. I like playing against a bad one. That's fun. <laughs> I, like, I love playing a against a good Huntress. one. When I get hit by a really nice snipe, it makes me so happy. I hate losing, mm. so for me, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> so I'm like, wow, they're good. And then they give Stop me the because I'm adorable. Yeah. <laughs> but I would also, oh, with all that God. being said, I would argue that I would agree with you. She's an S, It's an S-tier chapter. Mm. All like, right. cool. To me, I think I think Huntress is, like you said, maybe the best design killer in the game overall. Um, she's very strong. With that skill cap we joked about with Nurse, Like she, that, that's like legit with Huntress. Huntress... I think Huntress might be the killer with the biggest swing potential in terms of like a bad Huntress is like awful, but yeah. like an Umbra level Huntress is like unbeatable, right? Yeah. They just, right. they're just like, if they're, and again, that that's all skill. It's all like mechanics. It's all like if they can hit hatchets, they're going to win. And if they can't, they're going to lose. So to me, like, I mean, that's kind of like the gold standard of what a balanced character looks like. Yeah. Right. I think she's, and I just, yeah, I think she's excellent. Counterplay on the survivors. I just think she's brilliant. And just because yeah. DVD Twit has a meltdown every other week doesn't mean we give it a bunch of minus points because of Dead Hard. Because again, I was fine with original Dead Hard, and then they nerfed it and gave people exactly what they asked for, and they're still upset. So eh, yeah. shut up, dude. Dead Hard's fine. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Just shut up. Sorry, so many people run it. Get better. Next one, Leatherface. Now this was the uh, Yin to Bill's Yang. Here it was a DLC that came out with just a killer, no survivor, but this one was paid. And, um, yeah, it was their second licensed killer, uh, Leatherface. And I don't think he did he come with a map or was it just the killer? Nope. nope. Just the killer. Just the killer. Yeah. He came with a uh, knockout. Everyone's favorite perk. Um, as well as Franklin's demise again, a beloved perk by all with no naysayers in the community. And barbecue and chili, a perk that didn't define DVD for three straight years or anything. Yeah. Um, so what do we think about the Leatherface DLC? Pretty not impactful. <laughs> <laughs> D tier? No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get a reaction out of Doug. Yeah, no. You're just trying to piss me <laughs> off. I'm not going to take your little bait, Mr. Mr. British guy. <laughs> I got um, I got worried because I didn't have him in my notes because he's a half chapter. What do you I have yeah. left behind but not I will never forget so the morning I woke up and I think I swung on over to Twitch and I saw who one of the whoever the streamers I was like watching big time play I was like Leatherface is in DVD like this was one of the first yeah. like big surprise DLCs for me where I was like no way dude and I was super stoked about it what what day did he come out again uh, the 14th of September right Ooh. so that's September 2017 right yeah so mm -hmm. at that point, I'm still Which, a full I'm still full time Friday streamer. Um, uh, the the player base had risen to about fourteen thousand five hundred average at the time. Okay, so people were starting to bleed back over from the Friday the Thirteenth excursion. Um, yeah. 
And I certainly imagine Bubba brought a lot of them back. Right, like, me. Like, I, yes, I started playing yeah. Killer. I started playing Killer again because of this chapter. I was like, no, uh Leatherface is in the game. I, I would imagine that. you've got Michael Myers in the game, and then you see Bubba's in it, and you're like, oh. Now it's now possibilities are endless. Yeah. If they've if they've got Bubba as well, what other like that's when probably people started to really theorize who's next. Yeah, it no, wait this too was, long, weirdly, but like I said earlier, when uh, Friday the Thirteenth came out, I was like, my, uh, friendship ended with DVD. Friday the Thirteenth, <laughs> my new best friend now, yeah. and I was rooting for them the whole time. I was just like, yeah, you know, they've got Jason, but if they get other licensed killers, they can really put the hurt on DVD. And then I remember when Leatherface dropped, and I was like, oh, DBD has Michael Myers and Leatherface now? This is not good. Yeah, because like, like any other company's going to be a... like, I'm going to go join the, the party over there. Yeah. yeah. They got two to Friday the 13th's one, and who knows how many are going to come in the future. So, yeah. yeah. Big also, blow at the time. Also worth noting is how condescending twitch chats were back then about the idea of leatherface coming into the game like the level of mm -hmm. fucking ego where there's like oh there's already leatherface is called a hillbilly like no way you could have two right. chainsaw killers so for me being petty at my core it felt very good to be like <laughs> see those guys that were so sure of, of leatherface never coming to the game getting dunked on in twitch chats nationwide because yeah i was and again leatherface launched pretty weak like he wasn't really weak out of the gate because people didn't really know how to counterplay him yet, but he's one of those killers that like launched in a really weak state, and once people figured it out, he was very weak for a long time. And then they did the rework that added the chainsaw charges and stuff, and then like mm. he got to where he's at now, which I think is a really good mid tier killer place. So mm -hmm. I don't think I don't yeah. want to I don't think his launch was disastrous like Doctor and Hag were in terms of like launching an unplayable character. Um if anything, like he was probably really strong out of the gate because people didn't know how to counterplay him yet. It was just once they figured it out, it was like... I suspect, um, as he's another half chapter who didn't come with a new map, um, he's just a killer, three new perks, like, it's, it's difficult to be too offensive with him. Um, yeah. But yeah. it was a really exciting element to see, you know, Myers and Bubba. So, like, mm -hmm. I, I would personally... Because I, I I'm not... Bubba's playstyle can be a little boring sometimes. He's generally quite unpopular among... Lower MMR survivors, I'm gonna say. Um, mm. So I, 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 I think, I, I think, I think he's one of the most fun killers to to face, though. Me too. Uh, me too. Now, but it we, took me a long time to Sorry. get to that point. Yeah. Um, so I would personally, I, I'd, I'd either put him at the very top of build tier, or I'd put him in A tier. I like him in A. Mm. I think that maybe like low A. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would I, say yeah. below my below the Halloween chapter for sure. But I yeah. do think that like. He didn't. He launched inoffensive. He was another innovative. Like that was again. We can kind of give him more bonus points for like you guys said, being like, oh, this wasn't a one-off thing with Halloween, and you know, and it's not just going to be Bill randomly getting. Because again, I feel like they added Bill because like the relationship with Valve initially, mm -hmm. like it was like, oh well, Valve, yes, yeah, 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 Steam, and this was before crossplay was a thing, so DVD was just a Steam game. Um, and they added Bill, but like Leatherface really took what we what we learned with Halloween and like was like okay now they're just going all and again what I said about them taking Hillbilly who was very clearly inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre based on the way that his map is <clears throat> and the family the backstory was kind of like a, a a fucked up family right right and so like that also plays into like them like th anything's possible right mm. people people still to this day will be like well you can't put uh, put Jason in because Myers our trapper's already in the game doesn't matter because oh, hillbilly, yeah, hillbilly, hillbilly and cannibal prove that they can figure it out if they get that they want to even we just so, get a cosmetic yeah. yeah it'll be more yeah good. true <coughs> it'll yeah. be more cosmetic when it happens but yeah so and so, then barbecue and chili defined like you said barbecue and chili like defined the killer yeah. meta for years yeah and, it, and in it a very a great, healthy way yeah like double blood points and uh incentivizing hooking different players yeah yeah like why did they ever change it that perk and anyway. Not not only incentivizing hooking different players, but then showing characters from across the map so that you go as far away from the hook as possible. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a really well designed perk. Incredible. Yeah. Design. I do I think they should bring the point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They should bring it back. I understand why they thought it was a good idea to change it, but yeah, come on. Here's right. the problem: they'd have to give out too many of their free P100 cosmetics if they changed it back, right? True. Yeah. Oh wait. 
blood points are free forever. Like, never mind. <laughs> Pretty much. The next one, Nightmare on Elm Street. That's what I mean. So, like, you imagine you're you're just coming off the height of Bubba just entering, and then you go, "What's uh -huh. Deb has got a new chapter? What is it? Nightmare on Elm Street? What?" Um, but not this... not classic. <laughs> This was a a back to back license chapter, which they they do a few more times, but uh, it was definitely like you just said, oh, it snowballed pretty hard at this point. Because I remember, like I said, I was rooting for Friday Thirteenth when Leatherface came out. My 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 face kind of fell a little bit when Nightmare on Elm Street came out. I was like, it's over, yeah. because Freddy was the one that I was thinking. It was the one that made the most sense for Friday the Thirteenth to get. So they could do like a Freddy versus Jason. Well, yeah, because they'd already worked with film, right? Like they'd already worked together yeah. with those licenses, mm -hmm. right? So at that point, exactly, that was the obvious choice. And so when DVD got Freddy, I was like, oh well, I mean it's three to one now, and I don't know how they could have possibly picked this back up. So that was that was huge at the time. I remember this was hype, What's, almost as okay. hype as a Halloween one. Did you look at the player numbers for Bubba? Oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it went up a little bit to like I think fourteen thousand is yeah. what I said. Um, what's the date for this one? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is 26th of October. Nice little Halloween release. Ooh. Ooh. So th this was uh, this was about the same. It was about oh, okay. like 15,000 or so. I was going yeah, to go up a little bit. Now, it's worth knowing about Freddy is that this was the last time that I came back to play it until Stranger Things came out because mm. I was like, well, Freddy's in the game. I got to see him. Like, I got to play it again. So it got me and, and some friends back to play it, uh, whereas Leatherface didn't quite do that. Um, and we outright skipped the Doctor chapter, I think. Um, wise. Wise. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I almost very, as casual players, we were very unimpressed with Freddy, though. We found him really confusing. Maybe you yeah. can touch more on that, Doug. But, uh... Yeah, so Freddy's initial launch, um, oh, my God, this is <clears throat> one of the most, like, like, I will I will hold on to this till the day that I die. His original design was so fucking cool. He was bad. He was unequivocally the worst killer in DVD when he came out, without question. Yeah. But it was, like, still more fun and better than he is now, in my opinion. And, again... I'll, I'll I'll touch on this at the very end, but so basically, when he when he spawned in back in the day in the original launch version of Freddy, he was completely invisible and had no terror radius. You could only hear the lullaby, and then for him to interact with you, he had to put you in dream state. So he had to like press M two on you, and it would like pull you into the dream state. But it took seven seconds to go from initial trance or whatever initial you know activation to like. They're activate. They're actually you can interact with them, and so a lot of people call him um, like seven second wraith. They're like seven second bing yeah. bong because like <clears throat> you basically you got the same power as as wraith wraith right. You could sneak up on people, but like you had to wait seven seconds um, mm -hmm. for him to to actually be able to interact with you. And one of the most painful things that any survivor or any killer main in this game's history has ever gone through is when you find a person on your hex totem. And you pull them into the dream world, oh. and then you just stood there and watched them cleanse your totem right in front of you. You couldn't do anything to stop them. Because you literally couldn't interact oh. with them unless they were in the dream state. Is this why you uh, hate hex totems? I mean, maybe. Maybe there's like, there's it like, un explain it. There's, there's like deep rooted, un never unpacked trauma around like, yeah, you just never think about, yeah, right. you think about maybe. hex like anything. You're like, oh God, seven yeah. seconds of watching. Because I used to, man, I used to play Freddy. I loved Freddy when he came out. Like I was like all in on the, the, the license killer, all in on like the aesthetic and stuff. And again, I'm a psycho that actually mm -hmm. like enjoyed the, the rebooted Nightmare on Elm Street. So I was like stoked about him and Quentin. Like it was, I was about it. So another thing was if, uh, if they were in dream state and they weren't near you, you'd see their auras. So you had like tracking mm. on them while they were in dream state, which I thought was like under underrated, like under, I think the people call yeah. him really bad. And the people back then were like, he's the worst killer in the game. And I remember, I won't name names, but one of the devs coming out and like being kind of condescending in Twitch chats and on Twitter about how like people, people are quick to call this guy the worst killer in the game, but they're not looking at the kill rates. And so over right. and, I, and like, there was no MMR back then, but yeah, Freddie was doing just fine in mm -hmm. that state and then of course they've they've like nuked and completely reworked them like it does twice, it does seem so. a shame like because when you say the idea of there being a separate dream world that you have to pull the survivors into i love that idea yeah. i'd love it that the survivors have this huge advantage whilst they're awake they can just do gens they don't have to worry about him but as soon as in the dream state just give him like make him a little bit horrendous 
and obviously wake mm-hmm. them up when they get on hook. But just make it like when you're asleep, it's it's a it's genuinely a nightmare to be there. Yeah. Um, make guy, gens yeah. take longer whilst you're asleep. You've got to go wake up. It's a pain in the ass to be here. But when you're out of it, you haven't got to worry about anything. That could work yeah. quite nicely. Until yeah. a certain point, maybe once all the gens are done, he, you know, his power's at full now. So he's like just in the world. To, I don't know. You could do something crazy with it because Freddy's awesome. Yeah, that used to yeah. be Noed. Freddy used to be like the, the the guy who always ran Noed. Like Noed, Noed and Freddy were like, you know, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of another perk that's always run on a killer. Save the best for last in demo. Mm. Like yeah. it was the same style. Yeah. Like every Freddy ran Noed. Um, every Freddy was end game, and that's probably because he was like bad, so they made it to end game a lot. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm with you on. I really enjoyed the mechanic of like again it could have been fine-tuned and then of course like they reworked them and they they changed them to have like the pools and the teleporting to gens and to not to bring them into the the state and then he got like too strong because his add-ons were really good at slowdown so then forever freddy was born which oh, I, mean, fuck, I, in, forever, I invented forever i invented freddy. forever freddy bro i invented forever freddy i was the first person fuck you that, dog on twitch to run, <laughs> to run the to run the four slowdowns and the two anger at you and the two add-ons bro i brought that to the world you're welcome everybody but yeah and then of course quentin's like a we had him at what a or s tier survivor like we love we like quentin oh, well. i miss mm. melted candle quentin we didn't put him in s tier there's no we problem. put him in low a not s yeah yeah okay i can't remember but i knew we i knew we overall had favorable markings for yeah i miss melted candle was, though Please bring him back yeah. as a cosmetic choice. Yeah. So I would say overall, I give this chapter pretty high marks. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's like, it's I definitely do. not S tier. Well, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it, it may have been cool. Like it was definitely really hype at the time. And Freddie's original design was really cool. But I feel like we look back at Freddie now and he's one of the most boring killers in the game, right? Like yeah. he's just kind of, he has his little pool slow down and he can teleport to a gen, but it, it, like, do any of us really play Freddy much? I, I've enjoyed killers? playing he's, him, but he's not like, he's no Huntress. Like, like I, yeah, exactly. Like he doesn't really have much to offer now. If you've been around the game for, he's a kind while. of like a very simple M one killer. He kind of reminds me of, he's got, he's like, he's basically like a no variant of clown. Mm-hmm. He's very good at yeah. a three gen, very good at eruption. <laughs> Call Brian overcharge three genning, so that's marks right in some direction. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room. So it's not Robert England either. So it's, it's like, Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah. yeah. So it's <sighs> it's that that is a little because I remember when when I first saw him and I brought him on stream. I was streaming it, and people were like, "Why does he look like that?" And I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" And then I was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> That's yeah. that's not I Freddy. Don't know, Who's this? I didn't realize that it was for the it was for the remade movie at the time. Mm. I was just like, it's Freddy Krueger. We gotta check it out. And I was like, oh, it's this Freddy Krueger. Um, and like, I would like, I would love them to go back to the chapter, mm-hmm. get the rights to Robert England, and because they love adding voice lines now. Yeah, I would oh. love to see oh, Freddy yeah. get some no, no, voice no, no, no. lines. I was gonna say the same thing as like I you mentioned the trapper skin, and I hear people all the time be like, "Well, I'd love to have this license as a skin," and I always hate that idea. I'm like, I don't want a mm. skin; just give us characters. But like, this is one exception where I'm like, I'm with you a thousand percent. I don't want them to mm. replace the chapter with Robert England, but I would love it if they had like a variant similar. And we'll talk about the 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 Hellraiser chapter later, but mm. I have yes, similar thoughts yes. on that. But yes, I think like would, a legendary skin. Yeah, it would be great for them mm-hmm. to bring a legendary Robert England skin that had voice lines. They could charge and they could charge they could ridiculous they could, they could name ridiculous. they could name they could name their price and people would buy yeah. it because it's Robert England. Yeah. Yes. Freddy, it's the most one of the most iconic characters. Yeah, if he came with voice lines, I'd pay three to, times the normal legendary skin price and be quite happy yeah. about it. He would have to have a custom Mori. Yes. Yeah. And that would, that would over the top. I'd I'd want, it, I'd want it to come with a new rework as well. Like that like the just mm-hmm. make already, him they would, play. Man, I don't see yeah. it. They reworked him. This is he's had. Like, I know, he's but on, like, he's on this, this, we're, we're, yeah. we're, pl- we're playing dream. <clears throat> we're playing pretend. Yeah, yeah I know. Pretend, well, this yeah. sounds like I, a survivor main to me. I'm here to ruin your fun. All right, but <laughs> but like because well, of the way he is and the fact that it's not Robert England and he's quite boring as John says, and like I don't like Badham. I know his map sucks. Worst say, map s- in the game. Springwood is one of the most hated maps in the game's history and and there's five of them yeah i think he gets negative i think the chapter gets negative marks for that too like i would i would struggle to put it in build here yeah here's our moment here's our moment guys you were talking about it earlier 
It's my moment to shit on DVD leaks. Um, DVD, <laughs> leaks, <laughs> DVD <laughs> leaks was wrong when they released information about how Freddie was also leaving. The license was leaving. They they released some like the perks that got renamed on the PTB or some shit to, to like generic names. And they're like, oh my god, Freddie's leaving. And Fire I remember to become flame up. Yeah, and I remember being like so happy because I was like, you know what? If if it's like a Stranger Things scenario, I'll take it because what'll happen is I'll get to keep playing as Freddy, I'll get to keep playing as Quentin, but I'll never have to play on Springwood again because we'll lose the map. Mm. They'll take right. the map away like they did with Stranger Things. That's and true. I was like stoked. I was like, please lose this license so we can get rid of Adam. So mm-hmm. that's how bad that map is to me. Like I'm I'm like down with them losing the license if I never have to play on that map again. Yeah. So, we'll give it a plus point. Blood Warden's funny. Great perk. Blood yeah. Warden is a cool perk. Yeah. I don't remember if it worked that um, way when it first came out. I can't remember. I think I think Blood Warden is like the only perk that I can think of of the set of six that has had any like lasting impact at all. Cause like all of Quentin's perks, like you know, wake up and I mean, oh, correct me if I'm I wrong. It's not up. I love wake up. I mean like it's Pharmacy. it's funny. And, yeah, farm. Vigil. It's just like in the history of DVD, they're not even a footnote. I would say most of yeah. those. Um, I'm gonna go out on a women's high C too. Yeah, that's I think high C for me. High C. I would go above Doctor only because his launch was better. I feel like current well, and- current doc like Spark of Madness chapter is better than Nightmare on Elm Street. But I like, agree. Yeah. Right. Well, they've kind of it's like they've kind of swapped places a little bit. It's like yeah. the hype of Freddy Krueger and everything at launch made it really impactful at the time but it's kind of looked back now as not a great chapter just in retrospective whereas the doctor was a disaster on launch but they've kind of fixed it up a little bit mm. yeah i'd agree with I, that. I think i see just because of the freddy hype like that that has to put it there yeah oh and one thing that i've always talked about is how i would love if i if i could have one like wish that i could have granted by behavior i would like for them to release launch freddy as a new killer called the Sandman, or Mr. Oh, Sandman. Oh, that'd be great. And I just, yeah. even, we need even, to do an episode at some point yeah. where we design our killers. Yeah, I want, I want, I, yes, want the, I want the exact same kit that he had before, and they'll be like, Ugh, "Let him be bad." If you're so, because I would play him, I would play him with that kit, even if he's bad, I'd play him. It was a fun. Yeah. It was a fun kit. He was beloved as it's like the community unanimously was like worst killer in the game, and people still played him so much because he was so yeah. fun. There's nothing wrong with being right. weak as long as yeah. you're fun. Exactly. Even, I even argue. Um, for so our third, uh, our third, third license in a in a third. Volume. Yeah, this is the Saw chapter, which saw the release of the Pig, aka Amanda from the Saw franchise, um, as well as the game map. Yeah. And Detective and, Tap, and Tap as yeah. the survivor. Yeah. So. Um, I'm, I remember, I, I do remember my reaction to this. I did, I had stopped playing DBD even casually at the time. Uh, Cause I was like, I played Freddy a little bit with my friends and we were just kind of like, this killer is confusing. And we just kind of lost interest, I guess. But I remember seeing Saw after this and I was like, oh, come on. Like you guys have already won. Okay. You know, you don't need to keep. Part of the third team's already dead. <laughs> but yeah, he's already dead. Exactly. Um, I know, Gary, you and I are fans of the pig. I can't remember what Doug's opinions are on it. So I, I think the pig is a cool killer. Yeah, um, I love Pig's my second favorite killer to play at the moment. Oh, third. Ah, Huntress is really, like, mixed. It's messed with my brain, but Nemesis yeah. and Pig have always been, like, my two. So what was, what was, uh, what are your opinions on the pig, Doug? And what was this like at launch? So well? launch, I think, I was streaming the game. Wait, wait, what date did it come out again? Uh, I didn't say it. it came out on the 23rd of January 2018. Ooh, so this January is 2018. right about the time, maybe bef- a little before I swapped over and started playing DVD full time. Like I early 2018 is when DVD became my main game. I went I did Friday, Heroes of the Storm, Friday the 13th. I went through full variety and then I was playing DVD only. And that was like mm. what I played till partner. But it was around this time. And I remember I, I kind of having like the opposite reaction that you had, John. I was like, damn they got saw too like they got another licensed chapter like this game is like 
this is the right. game to like attach your boat to. Like they're they're going mm. places. Like they're it going wasn't places. like it wasn't like that you've already won. It was like how high will they go? And like again, what what chapters next? Because yeah, because Saw was like yeah. a more of a modern series. Like they, they have iconic series like Halloween, Leatherface, right? But then like Saw's kind of a more like felt like mm-hmm. a more like recent like at, thing. At, that, at, at that time like they were still going strong. I think that was like around the. I don't know which the end. The franchise wasn't finished yet. I don't think. No, the franchise was, was still like, It was like an active. Because yeah. successful... now it's spiral now, isn't it? So yeah. it's still going now. Yeah, but again, like it took Halloween to what twenty eighteen to like relaunch and have a relevant movie again. Mm. You know, yeah. so that was a lot of time in between. But like Saw was still kind of a relevant franchise. Um, I will say, I'm not a huge fan of playing Pig. She's fine. Mm. She's a fine killer. I think she's been like one of the most, like exploited killers of like finding bullshit you can do and like cheap ass mm. play styles. Like she was like the OG cheap yeah. ass play style. Like I'm just sucked gonna, on that. Yeah. Ruin the game. <laughs> just going to tunnel the trap or just going to camp the trap and just like keep going for the trap right. guy and like the standing in front of boxes meta and shit. Like, there's a lot, a lot to not right. like about that. The map is terrible. The survivor is big, dumb and loud tier. So for me, I have like a very <laughs> hard time. I have a hard time going to bat for the saw chapter. I think that, what John said kind of kind of accurately summarizes like where people were at. Like there wasn't, it's kind of one of those things that if you keep getting surprised, you're not surprised anymore. Like we had back to back to back licensed killers. So it's like, Oh my, is this just a licensed killer game now to the point that I think the saw mm-hmm. chapter was the first time I remember people complaining that they want original characters, which has mm-hmm. been like a long term thing as people like, there's a, another us versus them in the DVD community, right? It's like licensed guys like me versus people that would rather have original characters. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think she was like probably the first release that was like, okay, guys, seriously, like have an original thought. Like, can we get somebody, you know? So, yeah. Overall, I'm, and, I'm, I'll go ahead. As well, like the game map is, again, Off. one of the most hated maps in DBD history <laughs> yeah. on both sides. Yeah. I would, and I'll also, I'll also throw in that none of the perks are particularly exciting. Yeah. Um, Hangman's Trick, I still think, is one of the worst perks in the game. I just don't really mm. see its point. Um, yeah. Make your choice is kind of interesting. Surveillance is a bit... Mm. And then mm. taps are all a bit... I mean, Stakeout's now got some use because of hyperfocus, but mm. Detector's Hunch, not particularly useful, especially no. now that totems aren't that important and tenacity's basically... We had to wait till Ash and Power... Str- oh, no, uh, LOD and Power Struggle for that to... Yeah, it's use, like full so. slug build only. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you're not going to run tenacity. Yeah, there really yeah. were no standalone I, impact perks, right? I will say, just as a side note, I'm not saying this should affect its grade at all, because it shouldn't. But uh, when Base Kid Unbreakable comes around, if that's still happening, tenacity might see a little bit of a comeback then. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what's happening with that. They've gone really radio silent on it. Yeah. And the, and the final Mori thing. Finale Mori. I know. We got- we had a PTV for that months ago. We've heard nothing. It might just yeah. be a it might be a Funko Pop situation. <laughs> might be. So, yeah. like, oh, by Pop. the way, by the way, that's not happening. That thing we teased I mean. years ago. <laughs> by the way, we'll save it for the podcast. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, go I kind of think this is C. Yeah, I was I about would, to say the same. Okay. I w- I want to vote C above Doctor but below Freddy. That's exactly where I was gonna put it. Yeah, because I mean, I'm happy the, with that. the launch cool. wasn't a disaster in like Doctor. But I will say, I do love Pig. I think she's really fun mm, to play. Yeah. yeah, she's just not enough to save the rest of it, I think. Yeah. Um, I think she's my favorite, well, she's definitely my favorite, like, just kind of an M1 killer. Mm-hmm. Like, her yeah. M2's fucking useless, so. Definitely a killer yeah. that has a lot of potential with skill played into her kill. You watch, like, Scorpions play Duck Pig, and it's like oh, watching a, a yeah. completely different experience, right? The guy's insane, and, like, at the yeah. character, like. Or me, like, Doug. Yeah, or or Gary is the other. It's Scorpions yeah. and Gary. Well, Gary. I haven't played her in months. Yeah. Well, Gary More puts on Nemesis. Tampered Timer along with Crate of Gears. Oh. That's just oh, it's, yeah. it's. Oh, I missed before the nerf. Oh, wonderful. give me those ten seconds back. Please, Such skill behavior, play. please. Skill the game. Curtain play, call. <laughs> the clown. Curtain call. Brought in the clown as the killer. Uh, Kate Denson as the survivor, who proved to be one of the most popular. Um, and Father Campbell's Chapel, which made them return to Crotus Print Asylum for a new map, which they which haven't the really thir- done. Which was the first time they did something like that, which I, I think they should get back in the habit yeah. of doing now, personally. I think so, too. Yeah. 
give give the new realms a different variation and delete bad. Uh, right. Yeah, and delete bad. <laughs> <behavior. Yeah. laughs> Gary has a list of things for you to do. Behavior. I will yeah. get well, it. Just hire me and I'll do them for you. Just I give will... me the build and I'll deal with it all. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll fix the code as well. Why not? Sorry. No, you're fine. I was just gonna. Yeah, I was just gonna illustrate. I would do literally anything if they would remove Batum from DVD, but it's all good. Even main Felix right. forever. I would literally main Felix if they delete Batum. <laughs> there, I said it. You can clip oh that. God. You can put that. You can send that to Behavior, the president of Behavior, Bill Behavior himself. <laughs> Bill. Send him that. Is he built here? I will main Felix if you guys remove Batum. But you have to remove Batum for me, not because you lost the license. That's, I'm not going to have somebody <laughs> in like a year or two pull this shit and be like, oh, he said. No. It mm-hmm. has to be it has to be with intent removed. Not because they so, have to. So how do we feel about this? How was it when it came out, Doug? How was it? Like, so, yeah, how was it? Because obviously Clown's got his two. Now two tonics. Beforehand, he had the one, right? He had um, his uh, fart. Yeah, it was now just he's got a, a piss part. Yeah, it was just hmm. the slowdown. Um he was pretty weak at launch, but also I just think people were really the game was in like one of the worst states it's been in when when Clown came out. This was right before Crossplay came out. Um, oh, what's the date? What's yeah, the date? where where are yeah. numbers at? Uh, the so date. the twelfth of June, twenty eighteen. Yeah, so this was June, June twenty eighteen. And then nineteen thousand like, five hundred was okay, the average. So, num- so numbers were healthy then. Yeah, they they've gone up a little bit. Yeah, this is back to this is above Myers. I would argue that they weren't healthy because the queues were insane. So mm. people were playing, but they weren't playing killer. I was about to say, is that because there was or like maybe they weren't playing Survivor. players? No, because killer killer queues were like thirty minutes. So it must have been survivors, not I don't know. Thirty minutes. I remember ha- this is like the peak era of me having to like play games while I was in queue because I was streaming killer only. And back then I was still like a strict killer only streamer. I didn't play Survivor on stream. And I remember just being like, Am I gonna have to switch games? Like, is this it? Is this where it ends for me? I remember when I went to TwitchCon, which was a few months after this chapter came out, I remember talking to other content creators in DVD and being like, are we okay? Are we going to be okay? Because, like, this chapter, like, this was a really rough period in time for DVD. Like, mm-hmm. Is this is this I, what prepared you for VHS? So waiting for 20-minute queues in VHS, you're like, oh, I've I guess, seen worse. Yeah, this is like I've lived to, worse. Like, yeah. Vietnam flashbacks coming yeah. through. This is nothing. It was like going to the yeah. gym, man. I was training for this. Yeah, no. Is <laughs> that, 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 that chapter came out, and the game was in a really bad way at that point. And I don't recall exactly what the reasons were. I just remember, like, the overall – this was, like, the initial – morale is down and again i wish we mm-hmm. had more like info because they were like reworking the pip systems back then they were like this might have been during the d rank era where matchmaking was based on what what rank you were and you could d rank so people would literally d rank off stream to get out of red ranks and get into like purple and and yellow ranks so they could have easier matches um and faster queues and the that sh- that shit was real i d ranked for queues at one point i don't remember if it was in this era or not for sure but i would literally mm-hmm d rank off stream not because i wanted i wanted easier matches but because my queues were literally 20 or 30 minutes at red rank so mm-hmm. i think the player base being at, at nineteen thousand kind of betrays like that like a lot of people that were like hardcore that were playing in purple and red ranks were very unhappy and unsatisfied with the game at, at that point mm-hmm. and so and matchmaking was well, really bad the queues were really bad as well and in, in in retrospective i think the clown you know, I, I like playing Clown, personally, but he's not one of my favorites. Uh, Clown has proven to be one of the most unpopular killers. Um, I remember when I first started playing again, around when Stranger Things released, like, Clown was one of the last killers I ran into. The last, the very last one was Bubba, but Clown was very unpopular uh, even then. And he's, I mean, even now, running into a Clown is pretty rare. So I'd say he hasn't really... Uh, been embraced by the player base at all over the years. Uh, I, in I contrast kind of to de- Kate, which has oh, yeah. been a very popular survivor. Yeah. I kind of detest playing against Clown because I, the the tonics give me a bit of a headache when yeah. they use them on me. I really yeah. wish they would just do the slowdown's <clears throat> fine. Like when the bottle gets here, that's fine. But when it it hurts my eyesight and that annoys me. Yeah, like I don't need a headache whilst I'm being caught up with. That's one of the things that I really don't like about his design. Um. His Morley's yeah. really cool, though. It's really intricate. It's horrible, but it's really intricate. Yeah, was this Where, was this like the first really elaborate Mori that they kind of came out with? I Cause... think so, because you could argue, yeah, because like the pigs is very simple. Freddy's is mm-hmm. 
quite simple. Yeah, uh, maybe Doctors with the shocking, but even then, that's mm. fairly straightforward. This has the most detail to it because he actually takes a finger yeah. off and stuff like this. A couple, uh, a couple of noteworthy things about the Mori. Um, I do recall when he released the Mori when he stomped on the head had no sound effect, no crunch sound effect, so it was like very unimpactful. Like he just like. Oh yeah, they should put like clown shoe squeaks in it. Yeah, that could be uh, funny. Uh, 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 <laughs> the other thing, the other thing worth noting, is that this was back in the day when you did a mori. Um, the animation started when you started the mori, but you could cancel it. So right now, oh, if you mori yeah. somebody, you hold a charge down and then you do the mori. But back then, you couldn't. So a common practice for a toxic killer would be to down somebody that they could mori. And then like spam the stomp on their head until the pe- I remember until the, until the person that. DC'd because they'd be trapped there forever because yeah. you could just spam it in perpetuity like you could just spam it forever. They would have to DC. I remember, it. I remember playing against the Legion one time that did that. They would start it and they would. It, it's like uh, they're playing with Susie, I think, uh, and she would start to like. Uh, and, uh, I think they like stopped like right when she started cutting into the survivor, so she would just cut into them over and over and over again, and then they yeah. would cancel it. Yeah, it was just right. like. Until they bled out or DC, and I was like, "Well, this is fun." Yeah, this is glad this, this is, is in cool. the game. I'm one of the biggest <laughs> streamers in the DVD directory and got a temporary ban for spamming Morris on stream. It was pretty funny, and he like always talked about inspiring them to change it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, uh, my revisionist God. That, history. Yeah, he's like, well, this, I, I just helped out. I inspired them to change a, a, pro- a thing that was a problem." But yeah, um, I don't think that the cat chapter was very well received. Like you guys talked about, people did not. It brought like, us more race. God. Everyone fucking loves Maurice. So D tier? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Fuck that horse, man. No, can't. I, uh, yeah, he's just again. A lot of people struggle with like motion sickness because with the blurring and the and the vision. I mean, Gary, you mentioned it. I mean, I I'll agree. It doesn't it give me a, eyes. It doesn't give me a headache and it doesn't hurt my eyes. I'm too strong for that. But it is unpleasant. I dislike it. Um, yeah. and there are, there are people that genuinely DC because they can't like the motion sickness is too much. They'll actually get physically ill. Yeah. I, I started to look away when the bottle hits me. I'm just like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit here. I don't, I don't need the strain. Mm-hmm. Um, I, myself and Cope, he and I were the first people. No, I'm telling you that were like <clears throat> pop goes. The weasel is going to be a huge meta changing perk when it, when it announced it. And when the game, when it That's launched, true. People were shitting on Pop being a bad perk. People why, did not a, like it. Yeah, I, I miss Pop. Everybody was obsessed with, with Ruin, man. They were like, Ruin's the only option. And people were diehard Ruin uh, fans back then. And I remember Cope and I were the two guys on Twitch who were like, nope, nope, Pop's going to be a major meta perk. Pop is awesome. Keep Pop, run Pop. And yeah, and then eventually like Pop turned into like <clears throat> such a popular perk that they nerfed it. So Yeah. We yeah, I can I can see where their train of thought was, but yeah, they were clearly yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. So C. I'm thinking just above Doctor. That's yeah, kind of where I was thinking. Yeah, I would accept that completely. All right, I mean, cool. We we didn't give a ton of points to to Kate, but I mean, do we, any of us like Kate though? I mean, her cousin. I like Kate. Nice, but... I'm a big Kate. I like fan. Kate, but she's just she's not enough. You know. Yeah. To... She's not. She's no Vom Jin. Chicken Kate's nice, but she's no Vom Jin. True. I've noticed John what's that's what John's trying to say. Um Yeah, everyone's gonna... everyone's chanting that in the background. She's no Vom Jin. She's no Vom Jin. Vom Jin. Vom Jin. Um So Doug, if you want to continue being on the podcast, we're gonna need you to tone it down a little bit because oh, we're gonna have to cut this into two seasons now. Yes, or yeah, two Doug. episodes. Yeah, this is I'm your sorry. last recurring guest segment. Yeah. Unless you're not happy. It up. I already said I was sorry. Can we just? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be better. Okay. You're lucky. The content is good. Yeah. You're so good at okay. this, Doug. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut this part out when we go live. But let's just, you know, let's just okay. <clears throat> act like nothing happened. Okay. Yeah. Cut my anger. I don't want people to see the real me. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, co-host. All right. <laughs> All right. So shattered bloodline. <laughs> I don't know what's real or not. I'm so I'm I'm confused. But let's just talk about Shattered Bloodline. Let's do it. Right. So, Shat- so Shat- Shattered Bloodline, um, great bit, guys. Ten out of ten. Um, yeah. Saw the release of uh, the Spirit, yeah. new killer, the Spirit, as well as Adam, as the new survivor. Uh, 
I love Adam. We love Adam. One of my favorite yeah. survivors. Yep. The map Best was Christmas of family residence. So um, Spirit brought it? with them a couple of... Uh, Hex Haunted Ground, I believe, was one of them. Yep. Um, and then I'm trying to think of Spirit's Ranker. other perks. Ranker, Rancher. Ranker, that's yeah. right. And then what's the third one? Uh, so what did you say? Hex, Haunt, Hex Haunted Ground, Spirit Fury, and Rancor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spirit, Spirit Fury. Fury. Yeah. yeah, right, right. There's so many perks, though. There's so many characters. Um, and Adam brought with him his trademark perk, Deliverance, which is used by every bad survivor in the history of the game, <laughs> um, as well as two other perks. What are they? Uh, Diversion, also known as Pebble. Right. And Autodidact. Oh, yeah. I like Autodidact. And as another oh, tidbit, funny. like it's only Yamaoka estate, I believe. I think it only came with the estate house. Well, it's just yeah. family residence. Family isn't residence it? was the original, and then the, oh, the... is that was oh is it the, oh the estate? Oh, sorry, I'm getting confused. The, the realm is Yamaoka estate, isn't yeah. it? Yama, Yama, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> um, so I think perk wise, not a huge impact, but character wise, certainly the spirit has been. Uh, one of the most notorious killers in the history. Um, yeah. I suppose that she was like the second S tier killer, where it's like, oh, yeah, she's very strong. <laughs> she was she was way stronger at launch than she is now. Um, I want to feel like I feel like something was wrong with her when she first came out. Like I want to feel like she wasn't was she bad. broken. I think she was bad when That's she came I've out heard. or broken. Yeah, something was wrong with her, like in a negative way, and then like. They fixed it, and then she was, like, strong, strong. Um, I would argue the perks on this are really impactful. Like, they're actually really fun perks. Like, there's just so much fun to be had on both sides of these perks. Like, Haunted Ground is, like, an exciting and fun perk. Um, Spirit mm -hmm. Fury, when paired paired with Enduring, is a lot of fun and cool. It mm -hmm. had like well, Spirit, Spirit up, Fury is one of my like when you realize the killer's got it when you drop a pallet and they just it just smash you like <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah it's a definite like excitement perk right it changes the game and again it kind of sucks that in the current state of DVD you usually get like one good Spirit Fury and then everybody knows she has it and then the next mm. thing you know and it's not good anymore that they have it but overall when it came out it like I remember being like all in on enduring spirit fury builds like i ran that on everything it was really fun um yeah auto autodidact can be fun and interesting uh diversion is like a mainstay of hey, I'm, a, main. I'm, a, I'm a fun streamer and i use diversion poggers you know that, that's uh -huh. always been a yeah. thing right that's that's the thing deliverance like you said is like the the calling card of a dog shit solo survivor like, yeah. <laughs> yeah but i, oh, I don't it's know. so it's, funny it's, it's the please tell me part it's it's so funny seeing them use it. Like, I think almost every time I've seen someone use it at, when I'm playing Killer, they go, they go down, they get put on hook. I turn my back. Sometimes I'm not even done turning my back around to go to the other side of the map, and they unhook themselves. Yeah. It's like they don't think further than that moment. And he tunneled like, me. He tunneled me, bro. Well, I got to I I I tunnel you now. I can't believe he tunneled. <laughs> and back, I will say... They're also quite rude because they'll they'll wait for you to get close to the unhook and then deliverance in front of you. And you're like, yep. I could have stayed on the gen. Yeah. Or given you, we'll make it. <laughs> yeah. But they don't think about that. No. No. Um, I think for me, I would I would lobby for S tier if Spirit didn't require like a huge rework to be fair. Cause like mm -hmm, they ended up having mm -hmm. to like, they ended up having to work on her quite a bit to get her to where she's at now, where she has like consistent counterplay. Cause for a long time she was a, like a, the penultimate 50, 50 killer. Like when you were a survivor, you had no idea what she was doing when she was phasing. Mm -hmm. So you had to just kind of guess which way she was going. She does have mm -hmm. one of the most, and we'll talk about this in the future in a tier list, but the, for me, one of the most satisfying stun noises when you get that, when yeah. she comes out of oh, phase yeah. mode and you drop a pallet on yeah. in their head. Oh, all the aesthetics are awesome, right? The cosmetics are awesome. Yes. The design, the visual design is awesome. The yeah, sound the, the attack on Titan, awesome. Warhammer Titan, one of the best yeah. cosmetics. Yeah, Absolutely, she's, yeah. she's got a good Mori. I think just awesome in terms Mori, of yeah. quality of content, really good. Because the map is is pretty well received. Yeah. Um, it looks cool. It's nicely balanced for the most part. And she looks great, like we said. Good Mori, like quality content-wise. This was a Do smash we hit. Do we S tier her? Is she is she S tier? Do you guys think she's good enough? Or the king of A? I think A. I would say A. a. She's just not a. she's not Huntress levels of fun. Yeah. I would argue, yeah, but, not even close when you play her. Yeah, like like but I mean like overall kind of boring to play, but she's strong, she's balanced. I like playing against spirit, weirdly. Because those pallet stuns are funny. 
uh, especially think... running head on as well. But I just think <clears throat> she's a, an uninteresting killer for me. I'm I'm happy to give give this chapter a simply because I think this was the first that was like like a really high quality chapter in terms of like the production and everything like did, uh did just, we mention just who like survivor was adam but adam, adam yeah, okay. yeah. God, yeah 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 we talked sorry. about adam. I, don't yeah, know, we, I mean i like adam too yeah yeah adam's yeah so but fun. adam's a, adam's a cool survivor but spirit's a very oh. cool looking just design character wise yeah. you know she's really cool i mean i think, and she's I think got it, a great more it's interesting that with hooked on you she was chosen as one of the more iconic killers to be in that yeah, and right. Got Trapper, yeah, Rafe, with... Huntress, and Spirit. Yeah. So that's based true. on She's... Hooked on You, we have to put an S here with Trapper. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I think A though. I, I, think, I think it's I think... a very good chapter. I just think that there's we're gonna have a couple S tiers later. I would I put I would put her below Leatherface though. Really? Mm. I would put her above mm. Leatherface below Halloween because I'm giving Halloween that's a lot of credit put her. for for being like overall opening the door to licensed chapters and like. Like John said, mm-hmm. the first like obviously it was one of the first DLCs, but it's like a very high quality release. Uh, I don't know, and they, Bubba and was get... Bubba was like the second coming though. It was like mm. Dead by Daylight. Yeah, had kind no. of won yeah. at that point. I'm a Leatherface main. That was, that was, main, that, was that was their the like. Game, and I'm still arguing. No, no way. No but way I, that that was more the impactful thing... than the Spirit chapter or better. The thing for impactful. me is it's the, definitely the... more impactful. I don't know. Like... Well, the thing for me about Shattered Bloodline is that that puts it over Leatherface is that Leatherface was, it was a hyped killer, right? But mm. it was just a killer chapter. What, what, what I really liked about Shattered Bloodline was that like, they, they did a great job all around. Great new map, great new killer, memorable survivor, great Mori. Like, I feel like yeah. that kind of like puts it above Leatherface. I would, like argue, I would argue that the bonus points you get from it being a cool license Definitely do not supersede the bonus points that Shattered Bloodline gets for great map, great survivor, great perks on both sides, like mm-hmm. interesting add-ons, great cosmetics, great visual design on everything. Like there's this. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can compete. concede. She's yeah. like, I think my disdain for like playing as Spirit was hurting her a little bit there. But you're right. The rest of it's all like huge W's. So yeah, yeah. Like to me, it's like it's like a, it's it's really like. Hard not to want to fight for S tiers. So Prince I Gary worry. concedes. Right. <laughs> Kneel before, Kneel note. before, spine chill. <sighs> On that note, Darkness Among Us is the next chapter, and this saw the release of <laughs> the Legion. Doug's fist pumping right now for our audio only listeners. Oh, uh, the Legion was the killer in this one. The new map was Ormond. And the survivor was. I'll try to remember. Who was it? I will quickly check. It was. <laughs> oh, it's Jeff. Jeff. I forgot about See, Jeff. The trailer. The trailer for this chapter showed Legion David. running with David, and so I was like, "That's not David, though." They didn't show the David new survivor too. in the trailer, which that is, is kind of weird. weird. Huh? Is Jeff? Is Jeff the only character that's not trailer? shown in in his own chapter's trailer? I mean, I'd be embarrassed to show him that's, too. Though, so big dumb. That's such a here. Jeff thing. Oh yeah. To say to 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 experience. Wow. Oh poor Jeff. I mean, the fact that I was like, oh, it's of course Jeff. Oh yes, <laughs> Jeff. Now, I I wasn't playing the game during this period, but I am aware that Legion had a pretty notorious launch. I think this is one of the chapters, like, because I wasn't playing DBD at this time, but I remember the chapter getting a lot of hype. Because it was on my... Because DBD wasn't really on my radar particularly. Um, mm-hmm. But this trailer put it on my radar because everyone was kind of excited for... Oh, yeah. The killer being was, like a survivor. What was the uh, release date for this one? Uh, this was uh, Darkness Among Us, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, the 11th of December, 2018. Ooh, so 19,700 average on Steam at this time. That's our new peak. And uh, it, it is worth knowing that in, in previous months, they had peaked over 20,000 a couple oh, okay. times. Yeah. Just a couple times. It was their first time. So they were kind of yeah. getting up there a little bit. People were very excited about this chapter when it launched because everybody, when we saw the trailer, we all thought it was going to be like the imposter and 
in prop night. Like we thought this was going to be the killer yeah. that pretends to be survivors mm. and that is going to hide among you. And like everything about the trailer and the name of it and the idea of there being four different versions, like everybody was speculating before we got to try it, that it was going to be that, that the thing style, like, you know, whatever it's called, you know, the thing. Yeah, but there's mm-hmm. another, there's a, f- a phrase for it, a word for it. Oh, like, like a um, like not a like changeling, a, a, like a changeling uh, is yeah. what for it, but doppelganger, whatever. Anyway, long yeah, story yeah. short, everybody was excited, and then it came out, and we were like, oh, it's just mm-hmm. four different variants of the skin. <laughs> oh, it's and, just some teenager and it's power with a knife. <laughs> power. This was the first chapter that came out. And that I can recall people being like, well, that's not a horror game. That's not, that doesn't belong in a horror game. It's just a, it's just people with knives. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. that's not a horror character. They didn't like it. It was not a horror vibe. And like, mm. so that was like, well, it's a shame because it's kind of like a purge, isn't it? It's like a purge character. Yeah, I would, I would argue yeah, or like that. Yeah, plenty of horror Jeff movies. the Killer. Plenty of horror <laughs> movies involve like angry Jeff masked the idiot. Team. Like, how many of those <laughs> m- movies with like the, the, the masked killers that are like trying to break into the house and stab people? It's, it's definitely mm. a tr- it's definitely a trope out there, but people were complaining about yeah. it a lot. Yeah, it um, definitely is like a slasher character, just kind of yeah. generic. Yeah, you know. And then, but the real problem with the Legion on launch is that they launched it with a couple of things that were aggressively unbalanced. They're like broken. So yeah, they do tell. So two things. First of all, there was an add-on called um, Frank's mixtape. Personal favorite of mine. Right. And so when mm-hmm. you ran Frank's mixtape, so with the Legion design, obviously you hit them, they go into the men's state. Um, you hit them again, you lose your power. Doesn't do anything, you just lose your power, right? You can't use your... The power is notorious for being the... I think it's the only power in DVD that you can't down somebody with, at least until like that rework that they where they finally made it. But like you actually mm-hmm. can't down someone with the power until the five chain update that they just recently did. It was just... There was like no way to actually use the power to down somebody. It was just... Literally right. a stall perk for a power. I um, guess there's other ones now, like Pinhead's M2 doesn't ever doesn't down yeah, people. Yeah, 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 but... yeah. But at this point, right, it was like yeah. the first time we got, we yes, got yeah, power yeah. that you couldn't use to down someone. I guess, I guess technically a doctor or something. Anyways, long story short is though, the, the power was very weak. But with Frank's mixtape, the power was insanely strong. Because you would run Frank's mixtape, and if you hit him with a second hit, it would lose like 40% of their mend bar would go down. And so basically mm-hmm. what would happen is, if you found someone, you 100% could guarantee that you would down them because you can vault windows, you can vault pallets, they can't stop. And then all you had to do is wait for your power to come back and you would eventually knock their, their men bar down to where you could down them. And so it was like, I think it was three hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You would down them and, three um, hits. And there was more problems than that, if I recall. From what I understand. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue. Okay. This, was, this was the first issue. Because um, <laughs> there's yeah. more to this one. This one right? was really unfair and really annoying, but it wasn't like actually exploiting anything. You were just using a strong add-on. Um, but I will say, uh, for a funny anecdote to add on this, um, Frank's mixtape was why I caught my first ever ban in a huge in a big streamer stream. Hmm. I ran I ran Frank's mixtape against a, a big full-time content creator that was very popular at that time and. They hard banned me from their chat. I was a member of their community and I got banned for it. And then oh. you know, we're, we're good now. We've we've worked through that and everything's okay. But mm-hmm. that's how upset people were about Frank's mixtape. Because Survivor mains were were very popular on Twitch at that point and playing right. there weren't very many killer mains streaming DVD. And so and mm-hmm. Frank's mixtape was like the dead hard now. Or it's like it, it was one of those add-ons like when it was like it was like it was eruption, basically. Frank's mm. mixtape got the same reaction that eruption got. People would instant DC against Frank's mixtape. People were banning people from their Twitch chats for running it. It was like, this right. is gross and busted, and nobody should use it. Uh, and they eventually changed. It. But <laughs> oh, the just real, really uh, just have the idea of like in a post game scene like that username, like they used Frank's mixtape, ban them, find their username yeah. on Twitch. Oh, they didn't, ban need, them they didn't need post game chat to know. They'd find out in game when people were going <laughs> down to the power. Um, and so the real problem, though, the real issue with Legion, the bad problem, is that the way that the initial um, endur- endurance state would work was you you it would the the bar would go down when you weren't in chase right you're, mm-hmm. you're it's a, unless you mend it so the legion was able to use their power to put you into that enduring state and then as long as they weren't in chase with you they the the bar would go down but it wasn't proximity based it was literally just in chase or out of chase based right 
So what you what what people were doing was they were running Bloodhound on on Legion and they were smacking you at the power and then they were looking at the ground and then <laughs> dropping the chase so your bar would go down, but they would continue the chase while tracking your blood on the ground, keeping themselves out of out of chase. Oh right? my god! Yeah, because so yeah. it was because it was raycast driven. Yeah. So it was like a the killer would enter chase by the direction. Yeah. Hitting and, the survivor. Mm-hmm. And so what they were doing is they were making it so once they hit you with the power, they would just look at the ground and run behind you. The chase would drop. They can't stop to men because they stop to men, you're going to smack them. But mm-hmm. obviously they have to keep running until their bar goes out. Like it was just an exploit. It was, it was basically they were right. using it, the mechanic in a busted way mm. to guarantee it down. So they would either they would either look at the ground or they would moonwalk in chase or the two ways to like. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I did it on launch. Like I tried it. I tested it. I did it a couple times. But once I figured out how gross it was, I stopped doing it. Like I took yeah. a stand. I took a stand. Yeah. doing it. I was fine with Frank's mixtape, but this to me was like it felt gross. It was an actual. Experience. Well, it was it was unintended. Yeah, and yeah, I have heard floor. DVD Twit has had this conversation a few times, but I think that overall, this chapter and the launch Legion is like universally accepted by the majority player base as being the worst the game ever was to play for survivor because Mm -hmm. like everybody so many people were running like if you guys think the amount of people running eruption is bad like legions were like weskers back then you were just you go against legion after legion after legion and every one of them was either doing frank's mixtape or they were or they were doing bloodhound and dropping chase and bleeding you out it was just busted. well, it was broken. I mean, that does that does sound horrible, but thankfully, they changed Legion, so we're going to be able to save Legion from D tier because everyone enjoys Legion now, right? No, definitely. Not. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. like um, when Legion was in frenzy, if there was a missed attack, did it not take you out of frenzy? Because I thought I saw a clip that seemed to suggest that recently. I don't recall at launch if that was how it was, but I'm. That sounds accurate to me. I I saw I saw a clip of uh, that Cope posted a while ago, and it was like, "Never forget launch Legion," and it was him running from a Legion who was in frenzy, and and he like spun the Legion a couple times while they were in frenzy, and they were like, "Ha ha ha ha," and the, but they but they were still in frenzy, and then they downed him with it. Yeah, that <laughs> and I was sounds, like, "What yeah, am that, I looking at?" That sounds <laughs> accurate. Again, I was yeah. I was the villain of this chapter. I was one of the villains. I played yeah. a lot of Le- like I mained Legion. I was like, I love this killer because I loved mm. the Edge Lord aesthetic and like the cool leather jacket and winning. aesthetics. And I did love mm-hmm. winning. True, <laughs> I used to. I now yeah. I don't care. Back then, I used to really love it. Yeah, Kappa. Um, but yeah, it's just I don't know. It's this again. I I think that that's like kind of universally accepted as like the most miserable survivor chapter and mm-hmm. then again i think i think our more recent three gen eruption meta has got to run for the money but um it's not like that's like legion has always kind of just been bad like and yeah and, and I'll, I'll i'll say from like a yeah. modern perspective of how dvd is with legion like i don't think ever since i've joined pl- uh, started playing dvd that i've particularly enjoyed a legion match um, and yeah. they usually mm-hmm. take a long time uh, you mend a lot boring yeah. especially when they start protecting a three gen in more modern times yeah um Ormond, I don't mind that map, but genuinely it's quite an unpopular map, especially among killers. Um, I Even I groan as a survivor when my teammates drag me there, because I just think, oh, you just bring in... A- We're here on bad intentions, it annoys me. Like, I don't mind mm. randomly getting Ormond, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, generally there's not much positive to say, and Jeff's there. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> Jeff's, Jeff's being dumb and loud. The map is fine. I like the aesthetic. I'm a... I'm a- yeah, yeah, it's I'm a very. North, I'm I a love the snow, man. Alaskan, so I like the snow and I like that. But like, yeah, hard, hard to argue that in favor of that map from a balance perspective. Um, and then again, like I think every Legion phase has been like gross. There was like the Frank's mixtape phase. There was the bleed out phase. There was the Forever Legion. There's. Do you guys remember no. when? The, were you guys playing when the mending add-ons were bugged? And if you stack, if you double stacked mending add-ons. It would make them have to mend for like legitimately ten minutes. Like it was like an infinite. That time. rings a bell. That rings yeah. a bell, but I'm it not was sure, so yeah. it was so bad. There's so many weird things where the game just slows down now. That's like this is this is pre kill switch. It was so bad that they actually banned people for running it. 
Like that's the only time in history I can remember behavior literally banning people for running something that was bugged in game. Like there was a period of time where wake up was bugged and it affected every action in the game, unhooks, opening doors, working on gems, uh. you name it. And like every son of a bitch ran wake up. It was just so gross. And yeah. I was so mad as a killer main. And even then they didn't ban people for it. They didn't, they let people run wake up, but like the double men add on bug was so bad. Wasn't that quite recently... recent the wake up problem? No. I no, like I've, hmm. that was recently kill switch, wasn't it? Like not too long ago. I mean, I think we, the the original they have another problem. problem. Probably, probably, there, probably must, must there was probably another problem. Yeah. 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 There definitely wasn't a kill switch during the wake up era because I remember, mm. I remember there was a big streamer that I really enjoyed watching, that I was a huge fan of, that I had sub to for years and years, that I was mm -hmm. so disappointed they were running wake up. Oh, you, come on, you betrayed me. You, you were the chosen one. Uh, that streamer's name. Odd Starva. No! <laughs> Damn! I would never say that about Odds. No. You'd never uh, call him out for that. I would never call him out for that. Never. <laughs> never once. I would be like, I like Wake Up. Everybody should run. You're right. It was not Odd Starva. <gasps> yeah, with the wink. For our audio only viewers, John winked <laughs> provocatively. So, so I'm going I'm to jump in and just be like, so it sounds like this is a. Oh, a is it bottom of D tier? Because it sounds like it was a disaster. I still can't put, her below, put him below Nurse, though. Nurse, I mean, is, still, like the worst thing nurse is still breaking the game to this day. Gary. That is fair. Like Legion's right. at least yeah. fine. I guess if they would have left in the, ble the bleed out exploit, then we could have maybe had a, a case for <laughs> Legion being as uncounterable as Nurse. Uh, but, yeah. Since they yeah, took Nurse's shit. Okay. I, I, I kind of, I that. kind of, I'd like Ormond enough to maybe suggest above Hag actually. I don't hate it. I don't hate the idea of putting him above Hag. Sure. Yeah, I, I don't have a strong feeling. Because I actually do like enjoy playing Legion. I hate facing Legion because it's just, like you said, mending. Similar. It depends on yeah, the Legion. I, it depends on the Legion. Also, Their play style can be quite cruel, but sometimes they can be fine. If you're a solo no. queue Andy like the two of you guys and I am when we play Survivor, we, we all pretty much solo queue the majority of the time, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I think few things in the game are more frustrating than those teams that like just immediately and desperately heal after every time they get hit against Legion. Yeah. Like, or when they follow you when you're running away. Yeah, it's like legions after us. We like need to go in different directions. And it's like you just want to look and say you're losing us the game with these resets because like every time they reset, they just immediately get whacked with the power again and they're right back mm. where they started. Like it's like the the original like infinite slowdown. So mm. yeah, mm -hmm. every time I hear a circle of healing go up and I'm going up against legion, I want to DC. But I will say as a positive note, since the rework, the music's a bop. Yeah, I like the music. True. Yeah. All right, oh, well, yeah. add on rework was moving on from Legion. Happy birthday, Tataru, by the way. <laughs> um, Demise of the Faithful is the next uh, chapter. Good old this one plague. brought us the plague. Gary spoiled it. I was about to say it. He spoiled it. Uh, brought us the killer of the plague, as well as the map Temple of Purgation. Oh, um, and the second, the, the second, survivor, is that, that's a red forest map, right? That's the second second red, red forest, forest map yeah. after the huntress's mother's dwelling. So this is uh, another time they came back from it, like uh, Crow's Pren with uh, Clown and Nurse. And um, well, Red for or uh, uh, Yamaoka State comes back later too. Mm. But um, who was the survivor on this one? Jane. Uh, Jane. Yeah, Jane. Jane. Right. Yes. So Jane was the survivor on this one. Uh, how do we feel about Demise of the Faithful? I'm a, f oh, I was gonna say I I I'm a big fan of this. I'm, I'm gonna be biased though because my favorite perk in the game is brought in with this, with head on. I think it's oh. just an absolute banger of a perk. It um, is a banger. Yeah. I like Plague as well. I thought I find it to be quite interesting. I really enjoy playing against Plague and playing as her. I think she's a really fun, interesting killer. Um, maybe since the rework, sometimes she can be a bit boring with the new gen meta, where it's like, oh, you just, it's sick forever. Like the gen just takes forever to stop being, you know, all sickly. Mm -hmm. um, but I think she looks fantastic. I think she's one of the most interesting killers to see moving around the map. Um, she has one of the most disgusting mores, um, mm -hmm. which I can't help but appreciate. She has some really, again, pun not intended, but sick uh, cosmetics. And Jane's mm -hmm. awesome as well. Like, and I and I like Temple of Purgation. I think it's a really interesting map. I'm really looking forward to its visual update, which looks really nice in the PTB. Um, yeah, I I like Plague. I think it's 
on like yeah. since release. I don't know what it was like on release. I mean, we'll have to turn to Doug for that. But I like it. Well, how do you feel about it, John? I mean, I'm, I, I think everything is just okay. Like, I, I really like Head On as a perk. Head On, great perk. Love it. Mm. Uh, however, the other perks, you know, Corrupt Intervention, Infectious Fright, uh, was it Poised? I mean, they're just okay. Uh, Plague, not a big fan, but don't hate her. Don't do Jane, I don't can really be kind of fun. Much. Yeah, but like, I mean, as, ter- as far as like perks that have had like an impact on the oh, game, right. I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah. or. You know, I mean, like, I, I like Dark Devotion, sure. Uh, I feel like I mean, every cr- time I try cr- to run cr- Dark cr- Devotion. Cr- kind of like a staple of the game. Yeah, yeah like Corrupt had a huge impact. Well, it's like an indicator of, are, is it a trap or I feel a like, or something. But I feel back like then, Corrupt had, it was like, like it was? It was like basic, back then? yeah. It, but Corrupt coming out was, like, the answer. People run Corrupt Pop. And like that was like that was like the oh yeah even even so even like I um, think for a while when I came back to the game like it was weird to not see corrupt at the start of a match yeah there was a, a period mm. of time where like every match had corrupt it was it was a standard thing and like people that hated ruin were like fine with corrupt like corrupt was like the generally accepted like oh you're a good killer that's your slowdown it's like corrupt. yeah good, good killers ran corrupt to slow down the beginning of the match to stop like the first you know um, right so yeah I would I would argue that. Of all the things in the chapter, corrupt is like the standout. Mm. Mm-hmm. Overall. Oh, head, and head on. Head on is very fun, and it is definitely a perk that people talk about a lot for some reason. <laughs> it's, it's like the best thing. Yeah, and again, it's the I, best I, thing. I'll, I'll give you points spread. for head on. I'll give you points for head on being like a neat mechanic. And I remember when it came out, I laughed my ass off. I think that was really funny. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm with John. Like everything yeah. else, this feels kind of mid. Like the killer is fun. The map is fine. Well, the- that's because that's, that's like, where I would put Works it personally fine. is in Bill tier. <gasps> Finally, Bill gets a get some a company friend. in Bill tier. Because I I, I yeah. like I like the chapter generally. I don't think it's anything amazing. I don't think there's anything wrong with it either, though. Yeah. Like I think generally it's like it's it's not as impactful. Like it's just a just a new killer and a new map and a new survivor. It's all fine. Would you argue like maybe it, maybe, maybe it was the first chapter they ever mailed in? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, th- I, I, I mean, if I was going to put it versus Spirits chapter, I prefer it. Um, wow. But I'm biased. I like Plague. Like, I get it. Like, not everyone. I know she's not a particularly popular killer. Um, I mean, she's not unpopular, but yeah. yeah. She's Survivor's not like, kinda one of the out. best. But, I, would, um, I, I would argue, I would agree with B tier, and I would say she needs to be above Left Behind. because. Oh, was, yeah. I, th- I think she might be yeah, I think so too. at the top of. Oh, I, like I'm, I'm giving the, I'm giving the chapter all to. It's hard not to give it to the killer, though, isn't it? Like the the leader of yeah. the chapter. So I see it as plague's chapter. Sorry, Jane. Yeah, it's true. I mean, yeah. like I, if you look at the for our audio only listeners, you can't see this, but we're looking at the images for the chapters, and they all feature the killer except yeah. for Bills, which is just a survivor. So. They typically have the killer well, spirits, as the spirits mascot. Has, um, Adam in the forefront. That's true. Yeah, that one is a little. Well, I mean, Kate is in the forefront of curtain call. But other than that, it's just killers. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose they're all the um, situations where the killer's about to. Yeah, they're about to get got. Do their job. Yeah. Ash versus Evil Dead. This will be an interesting one to discuss. What were the numbers like for Plague, by the way? Oh, what what uh what month was that? Uh, do, 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 19th of March, 2019. Okay, so actually it went down a little bit. 16,380 was the um, average. So just for context, before we were at like 19,000 or mm. 18,000, something like that on and the last I'm, one. Can I ask what Ash brought today? He came out in April. It was about the same, 16,960. Okay. So... Ash didn't really make a big dent, it looks like. Um, so Ash versus Evil Dead was just a Survivor chapter, which we hadn't had since Bill. And it just was Ash and his three awful perks. No! Which were... No! No! You not guys, not you at the time? You, no, you didn't play. Oh, Medal of Man was Medal busted, of Man was wasn't it? insane at launch. Metal of Man was yeah. like, I forgot, it was like uh, broke, I say, heard about that. Can you say insane again? For insane. Me? <laughs> it was insane, yeah. motherfucker. Motherfucker. It was, like, well, has, it, uh, it, was, it was like a free health state for existence. Yeah. It's like current dead hard. 
Yeah. <laughs> Worse. You didn't have to activate well, it. I thought you'd have Metal Man and Dead Hard. Yeah, Dead Hard didn't yeah. put you in the... But let's not underrate Flip Flop. Yeah, he's got Flip Flop and Buckle Up. I know, Buckle Up. Whoa. Game Whoa, changer. Bu buckle Up. Buckle Up for Buckle Up. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. So, 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 so what, what was, what was the bit. issue with Metal of Man exactly? Was it just that you it just gave you a free health stone? Yeah. I just, to, just, did, you, did you have to work for it? In the same no, way you just you got it. You just got it for your, like, your first time getting hit after being... I think you, you got stacks of Metal of Man just for taking M1 hits. So I think it was like after your third hit, your fourth one was like a free health state. You just got hit. Okay, so you could get hit, heal up, get hit. It wasn't like protection. Yeah. It was just... No, you, was, hit. you okay. get hit. Yeah, you just get hit. So, so at some point in the match, you were basically guaranteed. Yep. No, okay. All you had to do is just take the hits and you would get it. Um, And then again, it's, so it's one of those things where like, it was super insane, but they kind of nerfed it pretty quick. Like, I think it only was in the game like that for a couple months and then they changed it. Um, And I remember that being like a discussion where killer mains were like this has to change and like survivor mains were being like it's not that bad and then like <laughs> mm -hmm. you know and then, the, then there was yeah. like all the people that were like actually being objective being like yeah it's pretty strong so they got it yeah. fixed pretty quick but like overall again i'm an ash player it's gonna be my first p100 most likely um and i would still argue that the chapter was kind of kind of lackluster we got just the survivor we had one impactful perk at launch that became non impactful like within a couple months of them releasing it. They just needed to they didn't need to nerf it. And it didn't really bring a lot mm -hmm. else to the table. I I would make the argument for D tier for this. Just simply because like you said, immediately after launch, I mean those three perks are just like really bad even now. And uh Ash is one of the least popular survivors, might be the least popular licensed survivor. I feel like I rarely ever see Ash and I think it was kind of a missed opportunity for them not to bring in like a some kind of killer chapter. I mean, I know that they may or not have Mac. had the option with the license. Yeah. I mean, the cabin. Oh, anyway. But yeah, there, I feel like there was so much opportunities because I remember hearing like there's a, they're going to put there's going to be an evil dead chapter. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, well, they just put Ash in the game. Like there's there's no iconic cabin, there's no uh, yeah. you know evil dead killer or anything, and uh, shitting in the it's tall just grass. Really low on content. Was he the first survivor to come in with voice lines? Yes, yep, he was the original voice line character. That's another missed opportunity, frankly, because other than saying groovy, the rest of his lines that he says are just kind of like, "Hey, what now?" Yeah. <laughs> or whatever it is, and I'm gonna... shitting in the tall grass, which I don't <laughs> remember did... him ever saying. They had him record his own in-game audio too. Like Bruce Campbell did the the grunts and the groans and the and the screams and stuff like that. Like that's all accurate, uh, Bruce Campbell stuff. But you're absolutely correct about that. Like that when this released, I remember I want to say it leaked. It leaked because of a convention. Um, this is mm. before this is before the wildly inaccurate oh. and cringy DVD leaks was a thing. Um, oh. <laughs> so what happened is they were doing like some, some gaming convention was happening and they, um, somebody got a picture of like Ash versus evil dead logo, like before the convention opened. And it was like the behavior had like, it was like, it was like, and I, again, somebody in the comments will probably know, remember or even link it, but it was like Ash versus evil dead. And then like the behavior logo, like it like leaked that, that, uh, that, evil dead was coming to dvd and so of course like all of us as content creators and fans of the game and fans of the, of the show and the series we're like oh my god this is awesome we're gonna have ash we're gonna have evil ash we're gonna have the cabin right. we're gonna have all this cool neck maybe the necronomicon will get involved in like the killer power like, right. we had, everybody was like yeah we were so excited and then it was like oh we just got a survivor okay yeah which again still cool but it I'm, was, not, it, I'm not gonna hold it against them because they could only it's probably like they may have been more complexity to it they just couldn't get more yeah i'm gonna fight against d tier because it also brought voice lines in that is cool the fact that it's bruce campbell is cool i'm gonna put it i would say the bottom of c see i i do i do like that it has voice lines but it has pretty bad voice lines overall and it does have Bruce Campbell, but it only has old Bruce Campbell. No offense to him, but I think everyone's idea when they think of Ash Williams is like Evil Dead but, 2 Ash Williams or Army of Darkness Ash Williams. And but I would say like get that D, D tier tends to be things that like were a problem in the game. Ash didn't mm -hmm. cause problems. You could you could pretty much ignore yep. the chapter if you wanted to. Yeah. So I think mm. it's difficult to be like in here with Legion, Hag, and Nurse. Mm. 
I mean, I would put. We, we make him the king. He I would make him the king. king. Of D- I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna argue John's point. I think DJ. And again, this is coming from an Ash Williams main, somebody who loves Evil Dead, loves the character. Um, you have to mark them down. He has to get shot down to D tier strictly for the missed opportunity to do so much more with, an icon, with an iconic license. Yeah, it really is though. Is the thing. Well, it's uh, a, it's a big I, disappointment I, I, though. I, I, yeah, but like disappointment is self inflicted. Like they, they they didn't promise a map. They didn't promise a killer. People that got disappointed no. had an imagination that went a little wild, and that's I think that's self inflicted. I think it's mm, no. I I would if you guys want because you guys outvote me, that's fine. Put him in D tier, but I disagree. I think he should right. be in C tier. We'll put him in uh, King of yeah. D tier. Yeah, we accept right. you disagree. Yeah, we, yeah. we accept you disagree. It's right. You you guys are <laughs> fine to be wrong in this case. I don't uh, mind it. Uh, it's always Ghostface. a D tier. It's always a D tier that threatens our friendship it's on this D-tier. thing. <laughs> it's a D tier like the battle. It's always the D tier that rips us apart, man. <laughs> we always, we always end up coming, almost coming to blows over D tier. <laughs> so this is actually going to be our last rating uh, for the season because we've been going on a little long, but yes, uh, we have a ghost face. <laughs> No, Doug has been bringing very useful information. No, Doug's information. been fantastic. It's been, it's been actually, historian, yeah. historian, Doug Running Man. I mean, we're cutting um, out that bit, but we generally like this has been excellent, yeah. fascinating, fascinating. Like a little trip down the history of DVD. It's been great. It's been fun. So they they followed up a solo survivor chapter with a solo killer chapter, Ghostface, which they actually licensed from the costume company. And not from the Scream license. Right. Uh, so this actually has nothing to do with the movies at all. It's just the same costume. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a original Ghostface killer. Yeah, some dude named mm-hmm. Danny, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Danny. Yeah. Danny Johnson is that his I'm name? Actu- or something I'm like actually that? surprised the behavior haven't done a maskless Ghostface. What? Hmm. Just because the DVD player base are thirsty. You could just make it a handsome man, and it'd be a win, mm. wouldn't it? Hey. Yeah, but then he wouldn't be Ghostface anymore. Yeah, sorry, Ghostface is required. I'm just, I'm just saying, ghost. like, they should, yeah, they should do maskless and shirtless, and then ju- just the, <laughs> just the, <hood. laughs> it's just a guy running around in his underwear with a knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minimalist ghost hospital face, gown ghost face. Hospital gown ghost face. Do it. <laughs> I'd be interested. Uh, so he came out in June, twenty nineteen. Ooh. And I yeah, and I remember because this was just before I came back. I remember because I'm a big Scream fan, and so that's when I was like, you know what? Just when I thought I was out. Well, because like your your emotes are ghost face themed. In. I know that you're a big fan of ghost face as a killer. That's right. Um, what uh, what uh, month was this? By the uh, way, June, eighteenth of June. June? June 2019, so 21,500 was the okay. average concurrent for this one. So they they had cleared 20,000, I think, officially by this point. Yes. Um, now, Ghostface perks include uh, Thrilling Tremors, uh, Furtive Chase, Ugh. and what's the other one? Um, they're not very uh, good overall. For I'm all ears. Right? I'm all ears. Yeah. I'm all ears, which is probably the m- one that's most used. Right. Um, which is a shame because I love Thrilling Tremors. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad perk, Thrilling Tremors. I'm all ears. Yeah. I'm um, all ears is like aggressively forgettable unless you're talking about like Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head. Or, I feel like there's like yeah. specific yeah, it's, killers it's, where yeah. it's like kind of similar to Bamboozle. Yeah. You're really only going to see it on like a few killers that it actually works well with them. But like, I can definitely see why you'd forget Animal Ears. You just don't see it. Yeah. 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 Eh, yeah. Ghostface. I mean, yeah. I I think I think uh, you know, as much as I love Ghostface, I feel like this wasn't a great chapter because once again, it's just a killer. It there's no map, no survivor, it's kinda low on content. And while it is great that they got Ghostface, iconic killer, it has no tie at all to the scream franchise with uh which like that's not that doesn't really have any impact on gameplay or anything but it is it, it gives it like it's just a little bit of a different uh could you suggest to it. that it was maybe a bad move to get the license like that because it feels a little bit like they went through a back door which maybe stopped them from getting the full it's, license 
It kind of, it kind yeah. Yeah, it kind of feels like they're never going to get the Scream license now. Yeah. Because they went through it through, uh, what is it, cost, Halloween World or... I, can't remember what the name of the costume yeah. company is. Yeah. Like we're never going to see uh, Sydney Prescott in the game, I which mean, is probably, which I is would, a shame. I, would, I wouldn't say it's impossible. I mean, obviously, like that, the the costume license and the OG Scream license have to be working together on some level. So I would assume it's possible. Right. True. I just think that again, it might be one of those situations where they're just like, eh, good enough. We got Ghostface in. Kind of, yeah. like, you know, the same 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 situation as trying to get Robert England, Freddie, right? Like, do they really yeah. want to spend time? And money, unless they're going to be able to make a killing on cosmetics. I think they would sell a lot of them, though, if they got Robert England. I'd buy well, it. Don't and think also, they, would. they, they yeah. added the What's up, Ghostface cosmetic. That's true. Right? That is, that so, is that's true. true. So, like, I don't yeah. think it's impossible, and I think that was a very popular cosmetic. So maybe we I did just see. think, though. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another game that maybe tried to pick up Ghostface in the future. Mm. Just, just thinking TCM should maybe... I don't, I don't think they're going to do that, but we'll talk about that oh, in the season. I just think he's so good. Um, but yeah, so Ghostface, I don't think he was particularly offensive either. Like, he's just kind of there. I think yeah. like, He's got a cool power. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not particularly strong, but it's interesting. Can yeah. be quite tense when you're suddenly marked, especially at the early game when you don't know he's around. He's a scary killer, like, mm. in, in the in the scope of DVD. You know, he's, he's up there with Myers as some of the scariest uh, in the game. Oh, they did. Uh, they when they gave him his own original chase music, and it was that horrible no. noise. Can I just say, as someone who played a lot of Ghostface, the rework was very unsuccessful. I mean, you look at you look at Legion's rework, and it's like I'd say that was a pretty successful rework because people were playing Legion more afterwards and stuff, and Legion was actually like a bit better than before. Mm. Ghostface, I feel like nothing has really changed. Um, I'm not even entirely sure what they changed. <laughs> they basically, like, the add-ons are more varied now, so you don't just mm. bring chewed pen Olsen's address book every single game yeah. anymore, which yeah. is fine. But, but mechanically, that, like, I, remember, I remember the focus of, like, discovering him was meant to be improved, and, like, him, did, like, being able to see people from afar, but it feels really skewed at the moment. I think yeah. it's worse than it was yeah. before. I was, like, I was literally staring at a ghost face in a match just the other day, and I yeah. went right up to them to be like, I will reveal you. I got myself killed just to get it to work. Yeah. Yeah. And even I, then, I'm pretty sure they hit me before, before yeah, the, the, they were revealed. I, I don't recall the specifics, but there's been issues with the uncloaking mechanic, like, since the PTB, since the first time we played. I'm like, it was like, impo it was instant. On, I think on the PTB, it was like instant. <clears throat> Sorry. It was like mm -hmm. instant. Like, you, you would just... You didn't even really have to do anything. You just almost immediately unlock, un uncloaked him, mm. and then when he but then mm. when he launched, it was like almost impossible to uncloak him. So it was like they've been. I think that mechanic in the game has been one of the most like back and forth seesaw type mechanics in the game, where like it just swings back and forth between like impossible to do and way too easy to do. And again, I think I don't think that it's in a I, super. I will great place say now. from a from a programming perspective because it must be do be done through raycast as well. It's probably just quite tricky to align those up because you've got the survivors raid cast that've got to hit him in a certain way, and his have got to hit. It's just it's a bit tricky with the way the environments are. And that's only going to get worse, yeah. I think, when they're adding more. Like because obviously maps are getting busier, so yeah. I, I do worry about him continuing to be kind of like messy in that way. Which maybe is why he's not so played. Yeah, I think he's yeah. not played a lot because he sucks. <laughs> he's, he's quite weak. But I, I think, I think also too, like at this point. It was cool to get another licensed killer in the game, but he's like, he's like the fifth kind of slasher license that they got. They got like Myers, Leatherface, Freddy, Pig, and it's like it's Ghostface. Yeah. Like that's cool. And as a big Scream fan, I was happy to see him. But it was also kind of like, a, oh, another slasher icon. Okay. Yep. Um, and it was before they started to change it up a little bit more with this license, and I think it kind of showed at the time in the excitement because it wasn't quite as amped up as yeah. Because like ones. I think I think where the first part of this tier list is going to be a lot of the killers before they've really started to be more adventurous with it. So I'm very much looking yeah. forward to the the arguments on the horizon. I would put Ghostface probably. It's tough. Probably in C tier. I would. I would probably say probably behind Pig. I, that, that's exactly where I was gonna put him. Yeah. Only I will only agree because the pig got a full chapter with a survivor and a map, and right. there was mm. more overall impact. I would say, yeah, they 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 both kind of 
they're basically the same, right? They're just both like yeah. You could me- swap them around. Mediocre, I be upset. mediocre uh, M1 killers. But I like pig. Mediocre. Pigs. I, I I enjoy playing pig more than ghost folks. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah, they're, they're very similar because you can sneak up to people on gens. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Mm-hmm. I think playing ghost faces. I haven't talked a lot during this one, but. I would argue that playing Ghostface is one of the least enjoyable experiences in DVD for me. I do not like. I would agree. Very unfun to play. I'm so glad that we're in solidarity on this. (laughs) Not not particularly fun to face. Like it's frustrating to feel like you got screwed over, and a lot of times when you don't break them out, you feel like you got screwed over. Um, Yeah. A lot of the most effective play styles on Ghostface are I just camp the hook with 99 survivors, and you'll get an auto instant down. You know, there's just a lot. Exactly. There's not a lot to like about it. And Camping shop, ghost faces happen too often. It's a half-ass license from the costume company, not an actual scream license. There's no survivor, no map. Yeah, so we could probably yeah. sit here and talk ourselves into going lower than Mitzi, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm happy with that though. I mean, yeah, because like at least uh, at least he didn't like. I mean, clown hurts my eyes. Doctor sounds like <laughs> they had a nightmare of a launch. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah, I think Ghostface he's okay there. Kind of there. Mid-C. Yeah, I think yeah. Mid-C is all right with me. Great. Well, we've uh, we've completed the first half. The first 15 uh, out of about 30 uh, chapters. Yeah. Um, we originally were going to do all of these in one season. Uh, or one episode, rather. But, but we, were, we were crazy thinking that. Yeah, it's funny. I was going to... Oh, go ahead. Consider this the mid-season finale of season Ooh. 20. We'll be back with the mid-season premiere next time yeah. with the other half. Ironic that it's, when we were when we were setting up, John was like, oh, this will be an easy one to rip through. I mean, this is, we're just talking yeah. about chapters. This will be a two-hour episode. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't I think we were expecting it. to go through the history of DVD. It's quite I interesting it, to hear how... Oh no! Go to, go to. I, was, I didn't. I didn't think we uh, any of us anticipated like deep diving the player base at the time it came out and really digging into like the, the the core mentality of the player base at the time. Like we've like mm. we've gone like way deep on the conversation. It's really it's interesting. Like, oh, fun killer. And it's only gonna get yeah. more like detailed, I think, because the next couple of chapters, that's when me and John come back to Dead by Daylight. That's so, right. Yeah, I was trying. We're with, relying uh, you, Doug, to, uh, to know what was going on at the time. We'll have like a rough idea. Yeah. Yeah. Starting with Stranger <laughs> Things, we'll we'll be able to have more input on on the launch uh, of these chapters and everything. I for one, looking forward to the twins. <laughs> uh, are, are you looking forward to playing the twins in D tier? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't know. Bo- I have not bo- decided. I just got a call, and that was from the president of DVD, and they just told me that I'm ex- I'm looking forward to the twins. Is the, that's the first time anyone's ever said that, Gary? <laughs> it's the number, you're the first person to say it, dude. Congratulations. Oh, I'd like to thank my I'm family. I'd like to, to, the to my co-host. Yeah, words never spoken before. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Doug. I was just gonna say I'm really like if you're if you've made it all the way to the end of season twenty, right? Part season, one. Part one. Twenty part uh, one. I don't know what we're calling it yet. I remember I'm not the I'm not the ideas guy. Um, season twenty part one. Just I really look forward to talking about Stranger Things. Like that's one of the ones oh, I was looking so forward good. to talking about so much. So do not miss. The continuation of season twenty because Stranger Things is gonna oh, be a lot of We get to talk about Hawkins. I know. Oh, we can talk about Hawkins, Hawkins Demogorgon, the first double Survivor chapter. That's mm. gonna be awesome. Yep. So don't miss it. You're not gonna miss this mid-season premiere. Oh, it's gonna get crazy. I bet we wow. get some real spats with it as well. I can't wait to watch uh, Pinhead probably. as well. Oh. I think I can. I can already see there's gonna be a couple that I think are gonna be controversial. Real for us. And there's gonna be some that we're gonna agree on, I think, full stop. But mm. some of the other ones, yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the right, next. Well, it looks interesting. And we've all we're gonna be discussing tools of torment. Yes, yes, we'll be ranking that one. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for listening to us uh, once again. I'm John Wolf, my co-host Gary the Hot Cross. Thank you for joining us. Very welcome. And our uh, 21 time recurring guest Doug. Thank you hey. for joining us as well. Hey. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Up this nice serious outro. Thank you for everything. Appreciate you. Make sure you tip your bartender. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone.